Hello, Wonderwell. Teresa, William, Michael, yo yo yo. Yasmin, Midori. What's up? Happy Friday. I was hoping to be able to combine the chats again. To, I gotta look into how to do that. I know it's against Twitch's policy, but I think I'm gonna try to combine my chats anyways. <laughs> But uh, it didn't work. I thought it was going to work tonight, and it didn't, so... Looks like we have to go with the double chat again. Hello, Electar. How you doing? Alright, just give me one second, y'all, as I share this over on the Discord server, if you don't mind. Those of you guys on Twitch right now, are you able to watch in higher quality than 720p? Let me know. I know YouTube people, you guys are watching 1440p. I'm watching flappy skin removal surgery. Nice. All right. Just about ready to get things started here. Got to set up both chats so I can see them both. There we go. Okay. Hello. Tonight we shall continue with part 20, is it 23 or 24? One of those two. With some more Baldur's Gate 3, Act 3, City, shenanigans. I think I'm going to start off this session. I think I'm going to have to kill the hag and try to save Captain Grizzly. Because... I want a room at the Elf Song Tab, or I want a room at the Blushing Mermaid. I don't know if that's possible, but we gotta save Captain Grizzly to see if it's possible first. So, without further ado, to the tavern. Appreciate the thumbs up on the stream. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Skull. 1440 is what you have, Michael. Okay, good. Got half decaf, half caffeinated coffee right now. I wish it was all decaf, but I ran out of decaf. What are we drinking to? Life. Prosperity. That's what we're drinking to. Skull. How's Minthara's story compared to the other companions? Um, definitely less developed, but I've been enjoying it so far. Okay, can you guys hear and see me? Hold on. You guys can see the game. You can hear me. Can you see the webcam? Am I here? Are we live? Are we doing it? Josh O, thank you for the $2 super chat. How's everything going? End up finding all the pieces of Dribbles the Clown. I have not yet, Teresa. I think we have a lot left to explore in the city, though. Carly, Carly. Harris Heller interviewed the CEO of Twitch last night. I saw that, Wonder Will. I watch all of Harris Heller's content, and there's a couple other um, YouTubers that have more knowledge than the average content creator on the business side of streaming and content creation. So I pretty much watch every single video that they put out. I did hear what the CEO said on that subject, so I think I'm probably going to be fine. I can figure out how to do it. All right, so the hag told us to stay out of her way and that she would help us confront the absolute. Auntie Ethel is grateful for us letting her keep the child. We can rely on her help in the trials ahead. But since she is holding, I think, Captain Grizzly prisoner right now, the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, I feel like now we have to turn against Auntie Ethel right after I told her that we would help her. Skull. Justin R, happy Friday. Nespresso is a really good machine. Pods? Nespresso. Okay. I'm pretty frugal, so I don't know if I want to spend a lot on things that I drink. Brian, thank you for the 1999 super chat. Appreciate that, man. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks, man. All right, let's um, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go right back into the hag's lair here, and we are going to confront the hag. Traps. And I'm assuming that I probably have to kill the hag. 
or use non-lethal, which is basically the same as killing in this game, except for a few instances. Thanks, Brian, man. I appreciate it. A lot of donations over the years, my man. And that includes YouTube and Patreon, too. Michael, you too, man. Thanks for everything. A lot of you guys were uh, a big part of creating the foundation for this channel for me to keep going to get to the point of where I'm at right now. Still have a long way to go, but feeling pretty good. With ease. You're co-oping with Tardis, Shy, and Oliver in this game? Oh, that sounds like it's so much fun, Carly. Hope Tardis isn't picking on you. Okay, so the hag doesn't get mad that we're in here. I think she gets mad if we tamper with anything. I still don't know where Captain Grizzly is, though. You guys see Captain Grizzly anywhere? Because I don't. Maybe Captain Grizzly's in this room over here somewhere? Perhaps she's one of the masked servants here? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, let's uh, summon the crew. I wonder how tough this fight is going to be. Something tells me it's going to be pretty damn tough. Hmm. What's that? Let's move. How am I doing? Really bad with spell slots right now. I might have to take a rest, actually. It actually lets you rest in here, so that's good. Um, I did enable Twitch extensions, just so you guys know. So I think you guys can actually view my inventory and a couple other things. Thanks to Shy Violet's help. YouTube folks, you can't do that, unfortunately. Why won't this move? Why is it coming in packs of two? The hell, man. Okay, <laughs> that works. Fair enough. All right, I think I am going to take a long rest because I don't know what to expect here. So let's go ahead and head to the lower city docks. Think you're doing yourself a disservice by not getting a cool suit of armor or crazy mage robes to wear while you stream? Hey, Leda, how are you? Insomnia, hello. You guys want me to, uh... You guys want me to dress up? Like a wizard? With my nipples showing? That's really what you guys want. All right, I don't think anybody really needs to have a chat right now. And since we're doing an evil run and we've killed half the companions, there's really nobody to talk to. So let's just go to bed and continue on. Hey, Shy. Shy, thank you for uh, the quick, easy guide on extensions. I did it right away. It seems to have worked, so... Oh, to put my hands on everything. Slap Danton? You know what? I think I will do that. Wait, if I slap Danton, does Withers turn against me? Let me hit F5 just in case. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it, man. I was so happy that people watched the Let's Play series. You have no idea how happy that made me. All as well, but ends... Yeah, not as bad as it could have. That was like the definition of like living the dream was me doing the Let's Play series. I was so happy with where the channel was at and doing that type of content. I, I was able to focus when I'm streaming. I'm, I'm focusing about 30 to 40 percent on the game itself. And that can be frustrating for some viewers. It can be entertaining for some viewers, but it can also be frustrating for myself because my mind is never truly focused on what I'm doing. When you're playing CRPGs, for example, a little bit of uh, that can be a that, that can be a little annoying. It's, it's kind of tough to play CRPGs. There's other types of games where it's a lot easier to stream. When I'm doing the Let's Play series, I'm focused like 70 to 80%. And the other 20% is on trying to make sure that the video is going well and that the Let's Play series is remaining entertaining. When I'm doing a live stream, it's totally different. It's like 30% focus on the game. <laughs> so it was great to be able to do a Let's Play series and have people that actually watch and uh, that actually propel the channel forward. I got a ton of subscribers, made money off of those videos. It was great. So thank you guys very much. It was content that was actually really enjoyable to make. Wasn't really that hard to make. I mean, I'll just be honest with you guys. Just took a little bit of time. Some videos are 
take a shit ton of work, a lot of research, script writing, video editing. Let's oh, plays were pretty simple. And it was nice to take a break from the regular, uh, the regular episodes or the regular type of content that I do. So thank you guys. Potato? 85? Where did those other ones go? I just split it and now I don't see them in my inventory. Are you kidding me? Six, four, there we go. Leda, thank you for the $10 super chat. I did the elf song on my other run, so I'm trying to avoid the elf song in this run. I'm trying to see if you can get a room at the Blushing Mermaid. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without God. Fucking Larian, man. Tents. I'm banging the Mind Flare. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. I'm banging the At Mind Flare. All that matters. I'm gonna wiggle those tentacles the all over my body. The very reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. This is about to be I epic. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Listen, you guys are seeing Wolfheart FPS do some crazy shit, okay? I'm a changed man. Not only did I have a foursome with a Starion in that foursome, and another man, <laughs> Now I'm banging mind flares too. YOLO, you know what I'm saying? Hello, Seren KT. Thanks for stopping in the Twitch chat. Appreciate it. it took me 1500 hours to sleep with a Starion. All right, um, let's focus in here. This is such a weird scene though. First of all, let me make it clear that when I first stumbled across this scene and the mind flare had its shirt off, I was actually, I was laughing, but I was also kind of angry because it was really immersion breaking for myself. Really didn't like it. I thought it just took me out of the story and it, it, the game just feels like it's a little bit too horny for my liking when you don't choose for it to be horny. <laughs> but with that said, I can't wait, man. This is going to be, this is going to be great right now. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, this doesn't fit the RP of this character because we've been really mean to the Mind Flayer. But you know what? We're going to try to bang the Mind Flayer so we can manipulate it into working for us. Because once you get down and dirty with Dragonborn Wolfheart FPS, you're never going back. You know what I'm saying? You really don't sound like a Mind Flayer. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. What's up, Rick? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together, but few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. God, those tentacles are so beautiful. Ugh. You could have been open with me from the start. Perhaps. But I couldn't take the risk. An elder brain leaves no room for error. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how exhausting you would be. You were stubborn, antagonistic. You didn't want to listen. You even tried to kill me. Trust me, Mr. Emperor. You don't know what exhausting is. Till I'm done with you. You weren't that easy to work with, either. Antagonistic to the very end. But you made your choices. Such is the burden of freedom. And now, we must move on. Wait, did I ruin it? Are you telling me that I can't even bang the Mind Flare when I want to bang the Mind Flare? Get denied by everybody in this game. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. 
and through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its high mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. Mm -hmm. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Okay, this was just a little warm up. I think. I think we still have an opportunity to, uh, to bang the mind flare, but I could be wrong. I might have screwed it up with my dialogue choices. Tentacle time. <laughs> Did I screw it up? Did I mess up with my dialogue choices? Oh, that's too bad, man. Really too bad. I was looking forward to it. You guys want me to go back and try it again? Because I will. If you guys want to see what that scene's all about. I mean, it's Friday night. Who cares, right? can't stop drinking this coffee all right i'll tell you what we're gonna do this is what we can do because rp wise my character wouldn't be banging the mind flare we're gonna create a save point right here i'm gonna bang the mind flare and then i'm gonna come back to the save point like we never banged him you know what i'm saying and actually mind flares are sexless according to the lore so it's not a him all right let's go to we have to go back to this. Nope, this one right here. Wait. Yeah, this one right here. Okay. Mind flayers are able to reproduce on their own. Do you guys know that? I have 666 followers on Twitch right now. Oh, hell yeah. It's Friday night and I just got laid. NSYNC fit <laughs> played in PG3. Content is content. Do it for science. I got you, my man. House of Durin. Alright, um, let's try that again. Uh, back to bed. Let's see. We can just do... We can just have it auto-select and go right over. It doesn't even matter. Somebody guide me in the chat. What do I have to choose for the first dialogue? They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now. Maybe we probably skip this. Slime flares don't reproduce, they infect. No, they do reproduce. They lay eggs, and out of the eggs hatches tadpoles, and tadpoles are inserted into the brains of humanoid creatures, sentient brains, fairly intelligent humanoid creatures. And then that can also create mind flares, but they also lay eggs too. All right, we're going with option two here. How do you know that, Yell? Starting to worry about you. You led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? By necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting. But even with all your experience, it has not been easy. The only way we were ever going Those to tentacles. get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own.
Okay, because we got people we got people questioning my lore knowledge in this chat. Can you believe it? For cripe's sake. Hermaphroditic in nature. An adult mind flayer will lay a clutch of about 1,000 eggs two or three times during their life cycle. Those eggs hatch into disgustingly adorable lithid tadpoles, which take around 10 years to reach full maturity. Though their odds of survival aren't very high. Don't ever question my lore knowledge ever again. Do you even know who you're talking to right now? Fucking kidding me right now? What is up with the twit? I'm about to just start streaming exclusively on YouTube. Oh, hold on one second. I lost my Twitch chat. But do I even care? My Twitch chat is just questioning my knowledge on Forgotten Realms lore right now. <laughs> about to bang a mind flare. We got uh We got some fake news in the chat. Alright, we're back. Hey Enzo, what's up, man? All right, back to what we're doing. Okay, what did he say? I studied you, your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. And what did you learn? That you are complex. Hey, Faith. Full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how exhausting you would be. You were stubborn, antagonistic. You didn't want to listen. You even tried to kill me. Shit, what do you guys think here? You weren't that easy to work with either. I refuse to be controlled by anyone but my own self. Or three, let me get this straight. You're complaining about being stuck with me. I would think three, right? You guys agree before I get this wrong? An illusionist build? Not off the top of my head. One. We got two votes for three right now. I don't think it's one. Didn't I choose that before? I think I choose one earlier. I'm going with three. Antagonistic to the very end. But you made your choices. Oh, such as the man. Of freedom. And now we must move on. I can't get this thing to bang me. Maybe I don't even get the option because I've treated him so poorly up to this point. But then again, he also had his shirt off. Has grown to monstrous okay, all right, let's go back to our load point. We'll maybe have a, a stream in the future where we play around with that, but it doesn't look like I can bang it. I don't know, man. I was really looking forward to parting those tentacles, though. Approval isn't high enough with Squiddy. Hello, Oliver. Happy Friday. T. Marie, how you doing? Our favorite Australian friend. He just wanted to massage me? Oh. Trust me, the Emperor knows nothing about my coconut oil massages. Did you stab him in the astral plane? I did. Yep. I, I attempted to, yes. Looking ahead. That's pretty sad. Got denied by Shadowheart on like seven playthroughs in early access, then I try to bang the squid and he turns Can't me down too. All right, so let's see what we got to do here. We got these mushrooms right here that heal. And there's two of them, or is there three of them? There's three of them. But if I shoot the mushroom right now, it puts me into combat. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Let's leave a Starion on the high ground. I'm going to have a Starion stand right here. Yep, that's in range. Okay. And then we'll have my Sork. Oh, where's my M? 
Oh, wow. This guy's all the way back here. He's at the wrong tavern. <laughs> I told my imp to meet me at the wrong tavern. Hey, Fate over in Twitch. Hello, Henny. What's the lore about these coconut massages? You got to be a tier five member to get that lore. Is that blood? No, never mind. All right, so Astarian's gonna take care of that mushroom. My imp's gonna come over here and help with this one. Actually, my imp's not gonna do that much damage. Is it even worth it? Might be better to, I'm assuming that when I attack the hag that all of these masked servants are also going to come after me. Not entirely sure. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna take the imp and put him near the door. I'm gonna to take my Sorlock and he's gonna go right here. Perfect. All right. In your name. Oh crap! I forgot to do aid. Let me bring a Starion back over here. What's next? I wonder. Probably get the imp over here too. My face protects me. Went from 10 to 25 HP. That's a huge boost for the imp. Alright, Shadowheart, you're going to go right go. here. And Minthara, you're going to start us off best. on this fight. So I wonder if I can... The path is set. Like... Use like... Hmm. I should probably use Fairy Fire. Because we know that the Hag can go invisible. 36% chance? Are you kidding me? Hag pregnancy. The hag has eaten the child to transform her into a newborn hag. Killing the hag will lead to the child's death. While in their lair, the hag and her doubles have magic resistance. What? That's bullshit, man. Soldiers, hunters, even armies will stand. Let the bastards How can I subdue the hag? Let me think. Let, let's think here for a second, y'all. What can we do? Nine percent chance with uh, with banishment. Dimension door. I don't think hold person works. Nope. It has to be a humanoid. The hag is not considered a humanoid. Scroll of dominate person. That's not going to work either. I could do fear, but this is my first time doing this encounter. Yes. What's up, John? How are you? What if I call you John, which is different from your current YouTube name, and it's also not your actual name. How do I plan to rescue the child? Oh, I'm not too worried about that. I could care less about the child. I'm trying to save Captain Grizzly right now. All right, I think we're just going to go for it instead of trying to be uh, too mathematical here. You know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just kick the hag's ass. It can't be that hard. I really do want like, um, hold on. Let's see if we have sea invisibility, elixir of sea invisibility. That lasts for ten turns. Um, I'm gonna probably... I wonder if that works for the entire party? How does that work? Drink this elixir to spot invisible creatures. Okay, well, we're gonna hang on to that. At least I know I have that. So... How let the battle begin. Starion, assume your position, That's my good. friend. Good night, Enzibel. Well, thanks for stopping in, Mythrox. Appreciate it. This. Nostalgic. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I should start off. I should probably start off yes. with Minthara. I shall strike. Shadowheart. Maybe I should do... Hmm, I should have raised some dead, but that's okay. I wonder if I... 
if I cast create water over the hag if that would start combat there's only one way to find out you think it probably would right no it didn't Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's Grizzly. Oh, shit. I didn't expect this. Older J, thank you for the $10 super chat. Happy Friday. Appreciate it. For more coconut oil. Oh. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Planar bind should work. Oh, you know what? I thought about that, but I was like, are hags from... I don't know. I, I should target the hag and see if that works. For some reason, I assume that the hag was from the material plane. All right, so we got to take out these mushrooms first. Psychic immunity and poison immunity linked. At the start of its turn, the mushroom regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restorative healing. Oh, I didn't think about that. Um, I think I can take it out on the first try, though. Oh, yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Let's do a single shot. Do the battle master shot. Oh, we can't target with battle master. Never mind. I was hoping to get that extra 1d8. Okay, so if I know anything about the hag and her masks, if I take the hag out, I think these servants will be freed. So I probably don't want to kill Captain Grizzly. And I'm not trusting non-lethal, so... Proprietor of the Blushing Mermaid. Shall we dance? wonder if it's even worth taking a shot with anti-ethyl right now, or if I should just go straight for this other shroom. Let's go. Let's see, not enough resources. Let's do an offhand attack on the shroom. 100% with disadvantage. Very nice. And then we also have action surge. We can do a double shot. Okay. Um. Hopefully, I land the shot. 100%. How could you miss, right? I don't even know what the mushrooms do yet. I haven't given them a chance yet. All right, that'll do for this round. Now it's Shadow Heart's turn. Don't want to use Spirit Guardians. Um. We're gonna go after the Hag. Honestly, I don't care if it kills that that character but I'll I'll hold off on targeting that character because I don't want to piss off Captain Grizzly god Tempest Cleric is so much fun god that's so powerful too that is just insane man that is just insane she's level 11 and my party is level 10 I'm Tactician, and she's just getting destroyed. The fight. amount of damage that I'm Let's dealing go. is insane. All right, so we're going to do Bone Chill on the Mushroom. And now it sh shouldn't be able to heal. Oh, it only lasts for one turn. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. And then let's get my guy to safety here. Any high ground? Nope. I guess I'll just go down the stairs, right? Could quicken a spell. Seventy percent scorching ray. Holy crap, <laughs> look at... I have a party of half the lithids here. Psionic Dominance. When an enemy within 18 meters targets you with a spell of a level that is lower than lower than or equal to your proficiency bonus, you can use your reaction to nullify the spell. That was awesome. Thanks, Ken J. 
I tried to save Grizzly and did not lethal attacks, but nothing happened and the game counted her as dead, I think. Okay, I'll be careful with that. Hello, Lofty. Three or four characters that non-lethal attacks actually works on. It gives them the unconscious status, but unless it says temporary with that, it ult. <coughs> Excuse me. It ultimately just means that they're dead. Get the hell out of my face. Crackalack, hello. You guys use subtitles even if you don't need them? Yes, I use subtitles on every TV show that I watch. Regardless of the language, regardless of the accent. Uh oh, don't die, Captain Grizzly. Good night, Fate. I did not mod Shadowheart's hair. Um, you get to a point in the story where she changes it on her own. It's her new look. I wonder if I should go after... Yeah, we're gonna go after the hag. I can probably take her out right now. 50% chance with Great Weapon Master on. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good, okay. Is she invisible? No, she's not. Okay. Oh damn, Shadowheart's almost dead right now. I gotta be careful. Oops. Didn't think that one through. She has 9 HP. Let's go ahead and uh, guzzle down a potion of greater healing. Trying to save you, buddy. Use subtitles always, Marity. Lofty says I always use subtitles. Where is this? This is in Act 3, Underneath the Blushing Mermaid. What's up, nerd? Chum? Oh, I didn't realize that there was... I didn't even realize that she turned herself into like five other hags. All right, let's take this thing out right now. Hey, Danton. Danton's, uh... Yeah, I hate Danton too, I agree. I'm with you on that, my friend. Radiating Orb. Effective entity has a minus one to attack rolls. It also sheds bright light in an area surrounding it. Burn of Boon of Servitude. Armor class increased by two regains two to eight plus one hit points each turn. All right, what I'm gonna do is turn off Great Weapon Master. And there we go. You stupid! I, I can't keep her down! Oh, that's you disgusting. Cost me a new hag. Little shit. Okay. Awesome. Mission accomplished. I can keep going a little longer now. For your sake. Is Captain Grizzly here? Yes, she is. I will right, talk to her in just a second. All right, are you okay? Curse of Regret takes two to five psychic damage every turn. Auntie, that's my baby. Where is he? Where is my baby? 
Yeah, about that. Have you seen Auntie? I need to find her before they come back. Raided warships for every beastie the sea can throw at you. And I've never flinched. Not once. But Ethel? Umberly's tits. She snapped her fingers and had me. I would have died for her. Wanted to. Then you showed up. Armed to the teeth. You could have killed me. Been right to. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. You have an old captain's thanks. I've dealt with her before. I knew what to do. Knowing and doing are two different beasts. And one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. You're welcome in the maid. Anytime. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. Knew it was a good idea. Get Grizzly on our side. So does that mean I can get a room at the maid or what's up? I'm going to find a barrel of whiskey and drink it. Is that it for Captain Grizzly's character? <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. Still cool to meet canon characters. I mean, I'm assuming that Grizzly. I wonder if Grizzly is in the Descent into Avernus module and labeled as the owner of the Fleshy Mermaid. I think she is. No one's stopped me yet. Ring of Feywild Sparks. While your Sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active, you will always trigger Wild Magic Surge when casting spells. That's for the Wild Magic Sorcerer. Harnessed Charm makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. That's kind of cool. I was wondering if I could take the mask off of her. You deserve to feel beautiful. My darling, your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Bucktooth Bertha, they call you. Those monsters. Bucktooth Bertha. Meet me tonight at the Blushy Mermaid, and together we'll sort this. Been emptying pockets around here. You might want to allay. You have a convincing air. That's what I saw. Shut up. You deserve to feel beautiful, Petal, and only I can make it happen. Lots of love, Auntie. Okay, well, let's listening. let's return back Moving to... Out. Let me make sure I didn't miss any secrets in here, any items. And we're going to return back to the Blushing Mermaid, first floor, and see if anybody offers us a room. Or what we can do about that. You can officially throw peanut shells on the floor now. Hey, Mike, how you doing? That means you can spit on the floor. You want a cosmetic slot for armor? Transmog system? Don't think I missed anything in here, so let's go check out Oh I forgot about my imp. Alright. What now? Go oh god, sorry for the camera. Mm, at once.
thought there was a chest in this room when I first came in. I was just too scared to take it. I wish you could play Minthara as an origin character. That would be pretty cool. And bring Danton to the Blushing Mermaid just to push him in front of everyone. Still be careful. There are traps about. All right, let's see if we can avoid these traps for the first time in my life. It all depends on the pathing of my companions here. Moving ahead. All right, I'm gonna disarm Don't this one. I'm that me. scared of these. Actually, I should just fly over. Let me separate everybody though, so nobody does anything stupid here. Work to do. We'll just fly. Oh, you can fly to right here. What now? Watch your back. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Still breathing, despite everything. I need to find a way forward. Yes, Danton is is my spore druid. But a lot of people have Dantons. Because he is a hireling. You can change the appearance of the hirelings now. You get some customization. Not complete customization though. What to do? These things have stayed interesting. Seems like a good moment to talk. Dad! Why is this corpse just right there? Everybody died up here? Everybody had a mask on? Flaming P. Oh, they're all red caps. Wow. What's in here? Ethel's chest key. I must have already opened that chest key. I really hope that we get another game set in Baldur's Gate, but like 10 to 15 years from now, so we can return to this location again. See what's changed. It'll be like 1500s DR and Forgotten Realms the lore. Is clear. Hold and listen. The hells is the captain? Why didn't she stop them freaks? <laughs> I've seen some dark shit down at the meet, but I have never seen anything like them monsters. Thank you for taking them down. Welcome, brother. My dwarven brother. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly will shank you. Oh, no, she Got won't. It. Oh man, so that you really can't get a room in this tavern. I swear that I saw a picture that Larian posted where the four companions or the player character, actually no, it was, it was the four four companions, walk out onto the front of the ship, which was clearly the blushing mermaid, and you see a Starion like go like this, like, yeah. Like he's yawning. It's like it's morning. Everybody's waking up at the blushing mermaid. You guys remember that, right? Hey Angie, how you doing? I feel like it's a long time no see. Can I play a druid on strength? Um. Yeah. You can't. What type of druid are you looking to play, Angie? So if you want to play as a wild shape druid or like a moon druid, whenever you wild shape, your strength, dex, and constitution changes to the stats that that creature has that you're wild shaping into. So if you're playing a wild shaped druid, then you, you really, I mean, strength, dex, and con, they're, they're important to a certain degree. But whenever you wild shape, you're gonna assume the strength of the form that you take. If you're looking to play like a strength based spore druid, yeah, you could make it work. I'd have to think about that one a little bit though. I'll let you know. 
Is your captain all right? I saved her from the hag. Oi, and I didn't lift a finger to save her. It was like I was stuck in a fog. My mind addled from every direction. All I could hear was a voice telling me the captain was safe and well upstairs. <sighs> Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Captain said you're one of us now, so far as I'm concerned, you're part of the crew, mate. Welcome to the maid. Can I have a room? Welcome back, mate. We're gonna... Oi, take your time. Okay, Wishing I think you... we did everything that we can do with the Blushing Mermaid. So, we are now going to reset back to the Basilisk Gate and continue our journey of checking all buildings and houses. Am I using the Sex, sex Panther? Got a long road ahead. What's that? Don't waste a step. Basilisk Gate Barracks. Okay, yeah, so we did everything already over here on the right, and we talked to Commander Portier, but I didn't check everything over here on the left. This really reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance right here. I really hope that they announce a Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 at some point. I'll dedicate my life to that game. On the move. How you guys doing tonight? Any plans this weekend? Anything anything crazy going on in your guys' lives? Getting close to Halloween. Parody says I'm old. They could include the other companions as origins, but make them start later in Act 2. Oh, interesting. You start the game in... Or like you... How cool would that be if you started the game... In the Goblin Fortress as Minthara. That's kind of cool. At your command. Or if you start the game as Jahira in Act 2 at the Last Light Inn. I mean, you miss you miss like an entire act of the game, but maybe, the, maybe those paths unlock after you beat the game one time. That would be pretty cool. Remember in the Dark Alliance games back in the day, you had to... Um, you had to beat the game on hard mode in order to unlock Dristo Erden. Not a lot of games have mechanics like that these days or systems like that because they don't want to block any content from players unless it's behind a paywall. They'll certainly block content, but general content, they don't want to block behind difficulty because they're trying to reach as many people as possible and you're going to piss off people that aren't good at the game or whatever. But man, it'd be, I wish games would return to that mentality where when you beat the game, you unlock all these extra things. It was so fun. It like made games so much more motivating to want to beat. Careful, I mind. But actually, it wouldn't be a skill thing in Baldur's Gate 3 because you could play the game on story mode. You just have to put the time into beating the game in order to unlock certain origin characters. I like it. I like the idea. But then is it even worth Larian putting the time and energy into it? Because most people don't play games twice. Holy crap. What's going on here? Is this a murder target? Probably. Don't think we're going to be able to use speak with... Oh. Clown severed pelvis. I found another piece of Dribbles the Clown. Is that a pelvis? Cards. You almost feel sorry for Dribbles. This is Go Humberry Tresp. Balthazar the Filth. The effigy of Balthazar, who lacked ambition. What use his refusal? He thought himself free, but destiny claimed his corpse the same. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood. Orin the Red. Probably need two levels of fighter of strength for Spordrib. Yeah, I like that combination. That sounds good off the top of my head. Off the top of your head. Dragon Age Origins or BG3? Um, BG3. I love Origins, but I didn't beat Origins until much later on in my life. I think if I played Origins at the time that it came out, that would be a closer battle. Um, but with that said, I'm also a huge Forgotten Realms nerd. Read all the Legend of Drist books. Um, huge fan of D&D &D in general, even though I don't play tabletop. So I'm going to have to go BG3, even if I played Origins when it first came out. So I'm changing that. What to do? Origins is a great game. At the ready.
just in case. The corpse does not respond. Don't let the dark urge have that clown pelvis. No time oh, is rest. there something interesting with the dark urge with when you pick up dribbles the clown body parts? What do you guys say? Dragon Age Origins or Baldur's Gate 3? Okay, we're back at the Elf Song Tavern, but I passed by this building right here, which is the temple. Still alive. So, so let me talk to the people on the back porch here. Actually, it doesn't look like you can. We have Kandahalo's funeral arrangements right here, I believe. Yep, Kandahalo's tombstones. And this company is actually owned by Moon Elves. And according to the lore, you'll see Moon Elves pushing around carts of dead bodies as the Kandahalo family is employed to pick up bodies and uh, bring them to the graveyard. Although they have been known to engage in illicit activities and work with necromancers. I want to have a word. I liked the city better when it was gloomy before Umbly banished the fogs. Sunlight just makes my eyes water. Luckily, it's still gloomy in here. Dark Urge can eat dwarven bodies for help? Oh my god, that's crazy. They have lovely dessert drinks here, but I'm giving them a pass. Must stay slim and trim. You're looking good, Levendell. You want the who's who and the what's what? Speak to Karis. She's always got the best goss. None of it's been wrong yet. The best goss. That's funny. Oh, this is sad. I don't have Gale in this run. I'm going into the temple without him. Here we go. The Stormshore Tabernacle. Stormshore Tabernacle. Only a few times, EL. I'd like to change that at some point in the future. Stormshore Tabernacle. Do we have a target? Actually, let's lead with my dragonborn. Long road ahead. Hey, Sesame, how you doing? What happened to old Will? He is currently hanging out in the fugue plane right now. If I remember correctly, I killed Will when I attacked the uh, the goblin or the druid's enclave. Best be on my way. All right, so we have a statue of Tear. See an altar dedicated to Tear. Read what is inscribed on the altar. Tear, the blind god, offers justice to all, innocent and malefactor alike. The law dictates what is right, be that reward or retribution. Your knowledge of religion isn't oh, extensive damn. enough to tell you more. Damn. All right, let's make an offering. Your offering is accepted, but more evidence of devotion is required. I wonder if I offer enough. Let's try again. Hold on. I'm curious what this does. Your offering is accepted, but more evidence of devotion is required. Really? This god? I can't win this god over with some money? What if I offered a bomb? I don't think this is going to happen. I think I'm just going to be giving away items for free. My faith will guide me. My All right, now we have Helm. The Soul Forger and Lessons of Helm. In this text, you come across the bull-necked, hard-spined doctrines of the god Helm, as transcribed and interpreted by a paladin called Thou Shalt Not Suffer the Doom Herring to Live O'Reilly. He chose that name after being convinced that Xanathar organization was not led by a many-eyed beholder monster, but by something called the Doom Herring. The doctrines are the usual religious fare, only mildly distinguished by Helm's focus on the provision of protection to those who need it, forming a shield of steel, as well as sympathy, for the meek and downtrodden. Do 
Dwarven myths are so engaging because the skeleton of their story is tied to a craft of the modern era. The bones are made of steel, iron, nickel, copper, a whole host of metals, alloyed and superheated, fused together at the joints of legend. Moradin, the god of, I think Moradin is the god of the dwarves. Soulforger, all father, is said to have crafted the dwarven species from the very core of the planet Abir, Toril. By retelling this story, dwarves link themselves to the craft of blacksmithing. They have in one fell swoop tapped an ore vein of metaphor and discovered a seam of cultural import. For dwarves are not born so industrious, so stoneworthy, so clever at geology. Rather, unlike the growth of long bushy beards, it is a learned behavior. I was about to talk about that more, but this isn't this isn't the lore run. You see an altar dedicated to Helm the Vigilant. Read the inscription on the altar. I wonder what happens if you come up to one of these statues and you're playing as a cleric and you chose like Helm as your deity. Helm the Watcher is a guardian god dedicated to the preservation of order. Many turn to him in troubled times. Hello, Alan. Make your donation to him and you'll likely feel more vigilant, more resilient to the unexpected. Ooh. Okay. Let's give Helm a shield. Because that just makes sense. He's the god of protection. Your offering is accepted. Oh no evidence of devotion come on. These gods are just turning me down right now. Yeah, welcome, Alan. How you doing? Hold on one second, guys. Okay. Perfect. Onward in her name. We have statue of Saluna. We're gonna let Shadowheart approach this statue. The twin sister of Shar. The origins of Mistra. All right, we're gonna hang on to that one and hang on to that one. Saluna. Had life turned out differently? Had life turned out differently, I might have been kneeling in prayer here. Feel the chill gaze of the moon maiden upon you. Saluna welcomes you. Read that which is inscribed upon the altar. An inscription reads, Let all who worship the changing tides of life and knowledge feel the blessings of Saluna. Trust in the purity of my light. See the constancy in its inconstancy, and you will be guided aright. As a moon-bathed cleric, this is your moment to bask in her lunar light and imbue your spirit with her majesty and grace. Your offering is accepted. I wonder if there's like special More items that you can also give to. Like, what if I gave Saluna an idol of Saluna? Do I have one of those in my inventory? Probably have one at my camp. I wonder if that would do anything. It might not. Larian might not have accounted for that. Might be easier to do this. I don't have an idol of Saluna. Dedications to the Pantheon. We have a list of a ton of the Faerunian Pantheon here. There's Saluna, Shar, Divine Tempest, Timora, the goddess of luck, Tyr, who we just looked at. Vlacketh, the Gith Yankee Queen. Ilmater, who is the monk temple that we visited in the Rivington district. You see an altar dedicated to Mistra. If you guys haven't come here with Gale before, highly recommend it. Really good content in my opinion. One of my favorite quests actually. And one of the coolest scenes also. You have one of Saluna and one of Shar. Gives a plus two to saving throws when you pray. Okay, probably only for a long rest, right? 
Hello, Thalen. Thanks for stopping over in the Twitch chat. Appreciate it. All right, read the words inscribed. Mistra, mother of all magic, is the patron of wizards, and often called upon by other spellcasters as well. She's said to be a jealous goddess. Even though you do not follow her, you feel her power resonating from the statue. She is the one true spell at the heart of all spells. The weave could not be in better hands. I don't think Vlacketh is, is an actual god. I think um, she has misled the Githyanki race at large into believing that she's a god, but she's a super powerful lich. Probably has like some divine powers though that make her seem even more godly. Um, part of the Githyanki, part of Lazel's quest in this game is discovering the truth behind Blacketh. You were bathed in the cool gleam of moonlight. You must be a follower of Saluna. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? I can feel my god's light shine brightly here. Why? Ha! <laughs> that is no surprise, holy one. You have entered the Stormshore Tabernacle. Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even hear their responses, if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. How did you know who I was? My purpose is to connect every soul with their divine patron. How could I do that if I couldn't distinguish what deities they serve? Who are you? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. Are holy items available here for purchase? Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. The reviving hands. When you heal a creature, it gains the effect of Blade Ward. Blade Ward um, gives you resistance to physical damage. For two turns. When you revive a creature, it gains the effect of Death Ward. That's nice. You also get the Revivify spell. Wish they gave you a different spell. Because I already have that with Shadowheart right now. Kind of nice, though. Anytime I use Healing Word on one of my party members, they're then going to be resistant to physical damage, and physical damage seems to be the... Most used damage by enemies in this game, especially when you're in the city. Okay, I don't think I need him though. Mantle of the Holy Warrior gives you Crusader's Mantle, which we already have. Radiate a holy power that emboldens nearby allies. Their weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 Radiant. A Sacred Star. I feel like Larian showed great favoritism to maces in this game. You guys agree? There's so many good maces in Baldur's Gate 3. Like, exceptionally good. You heard Astaria on DS? Oh my god, don't say that too loud. With more Act 3 content, better chance of one of your favorite Act 3 party gives you something you will use a while longer. I'd love to be able to go to every district in Baldur's Gate. You and me, both. That would have been nice. But, um, yeah. That would have taken Larian like another, <laughs> another five years of developing this game. Radiant Strike. On a hit, inflict one turn of Radiating Orb. Undead creatures struck by this weapon are possibly turned. And we have roll, Scroll of Globe of Invulnerability. I'm actually going to buy that. 1800? Holy crap. Hold on. That can actually come in handy. I feel like I should have it because I don't think I have... Wait, do I have that spell? I don't know what level spell... Globe of Invulnerability is. Alright, I'll hold off on purchasing it. There's a quest that I want to have it for. That's coming up probably next session. Okay, I think I'm pretty much good here. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Your patron may not enjoy you shopping around the Divine Warlock. It bothers me none. Be welcome, child of faith. You have come far, I perceive. 
How may I serve you this day? Here, clerics may commune with their gods, and even here that I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection. Of Gond, the god of inventions. This altar isn't dedicated to a single god, but instead acts as a conduit to many. Your god is one of many, and in this place you sense a spark of its mighty divine flame. Seek power and self-justification from the gods of greed and darkness. The gods are ready to receive your sacrifice. Whoa. This is cool. We can make a god to Grumpsh, the god of orcs. The god of the Dwergar, Lolf, the queen and goddess of the drow race at large. Talos, the Storm Lord. Tiamat, the Dragon Queen of Chaos. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely doing that with this character. Those of you guys that have been with me for this entire playthrough, my Dragonborn's backstory is that on a beer's or on Toril's twin planet called the Beer, um, he grew up and he was picked on by other Dragonborn, and he ended up worshiping all of the dragons, which were basically the enslavers of the dragonborn race and he teamed up with all the dragons and he wants to destroy his own people so we're going to make an offering to Tiamat and I'm going to give Tiamat a glaive because she would love that <laughs> your offering is accepted but more evidence of devotion is required a treasure extension isn't working properly oh oh I don't think I enabled it and they don't have to enable it in the game or something hold on is there settings that I have to do this? Options. Um. Show genitals. Subtitles. Enable Twitch extension. Okay. Let me know if it works. I wonder if I have to restart the game. Enable Twitch integration, allowing viewers to see your party view, track your quests, and vote on dialogue options. That is pretty cool. Too bad Twitch screwed me over and didn't let me stream over there when Baldur's Gate came out. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, I wish we could do Gale's scene. What path lies before me? Yeah, I think we're pretty much good here. Hey, Mr. Hardcore, what's up? At the bottom, one of them. Thanks, Mike. Silver sword for the win. Okay, so let's see. Stormshore Tabernacle, complete. Basilisk Gate Barracks, complete. Elf Song Tavern, complete. Blushing Mermaid, complete. So let's go ahead and... Stick to the right, and let's go by Kanda Hollows. No one stopped me yet. He's back this way. See if there's any buildings we can lockpick into. YouTube making me not want to use it anymore. Their war on stopping ad blockers. Let's move. Hmm, oh, that's the elf song. All right. What now? The circus of the last days has returned. See dryads, gin, and dribbles the clown. Back with a new act. Candle Hallows Tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. 
Hey, uh, Twitch users, are you guys still on 10, 1440p still? Still working? All right, we're going to try to sneak into here. Let me talk to this green dragonborn over here. Up for discussion? Sticks out like a sore thumb. I'll do you a favor, mate. Since you're one of my own, you don't want none of this clear off. The piss did you just say to me, greenie? what it looks like i promise we had supply issues you got a problem take it up with nine fingers oh he's part of the guild look i ain't here to swap scale care advice sling your hook <laughs> scale care advice nice look. that's pretty funny line there you know give it to you all right, now we gotta try to sneak into this place, though, and it ain't gonna be easy. What now? Oh, and Starion, why are you encumbered, my man? Because he's carrying the clown's severed pelvis. Let's give that to Shadowheart. Damn it, why is everybody watching me right now? I'm ready. How about this? You hand over everything you've got on you. But fan I'll give you three Twice what you just said. There's no time to waste. I wonder what the next move is. Can't give up now. No time for playing with cats, especially lazy lumps that won't catch crap. Wits and blades always sharp. This will help. We're coming. Up, we're coming up to one of the coolest With haste. parts of all of Act Three. I don't know if I want to do it at this moment or not. Take a look in this room. Fourteen forty. Thanks. Can Twitch be minimized into the background? Not sure, Michael. Good question. Nice day for some fishing. Finish that because I'll finish that song for you. We're practicing it for a little while. The locked door has red text on it, reading. What's next? The locked door has red text on it, reading. All are awaited, all are embraced. None that text is vaguely escape. familiar. Try to recall its historical source. Thing down by the river. Damn, barely got that one. That phrase is barless. This place has some connection to Orin and her cult of killers. 
You should learn more about them. Does that mean I can't go in right now? Lock picking impossible. The red script remains locked. It may open only to a password. Huh. I I I know that I'm early to coming here, but I can't remember how I got that password on my other run. Can't remember what I did. It is a sturdy door, but it doesn't have a. Hold on. Our enemies still draw breath. Doesn't have a health bar. I can't examine it either. Clerk Dravich, remember you are in the business of making Kandahalo's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half again too high so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than an actual going concern. Dudes are working at the morgue. Hey Jessica, what's up? Okay, we're gonna come back to this. If you seek the tribunal, let death be your guide for what is behind death but murder. The door with the red script remains locked. No one back home will ever believe this. The door with the red script remains locked. Light Game is missing feet. one thing to be perfect. I don't have Tavern Brawler now. Well, they clearly didn't give me a password because the option didn't present itself. We'll come back. I'm fine with that. I don't think I really wanted to do that right now. I wanted to save that for its own session. I'm just going to run around to like every little nook and cranny to see if we get any survival or perception checks or investigation checks. Never a dull moment. I think I want to try out the mod that lets you play the game. Um, the WASD mod. I know you can do it with controller, but there's a WASD mod for PC that also like lets you like look up a little bit. Because this is like the highest that we can see. It lets you look up at the sky. We're gonna have to try that out sometime. The city is chock a block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. Do I like good or evil runs in BG3? Um, after playing a lot on evil and also finishing a neutral good run, uh, the neutral good run offered a lot more content and a lot more outcomes that I felt. Um, I made a lot more choices on my neutral good run that felt like they had real impact with results that felt like I was playing a neutral good run. And in this, on this evil run, um, the more you play, the less you feel that the evil run offers, so that's my opinion. We'll see what the end of the game is like. I have no idea what we can do at the end, but... For example, like, in Act 2, everybody has to fight Catherick. I mean, it makes sense why, but, like, I didn't really feel like I did anything well, evil in Act 2. It, it basically turned out the same way as my good run, except they have less content because I killed Jahira and other companions aren't actually with me. What is that right there? Always room for more? I'll give it a shot. But with that said, if you're doing um, an evil run for your first run, you won't really know any different, so it should be fine. Dark Urge is fun. I've heard a lot of good things about the Dark Urge, but people do recommend the Redemption Path versus playing as the evil Dark Urge. Keep a blade close. I'll be trying. Close. Cosmic. Thank you. 
I only need two more streams on Twitch, and then I think I'm an affiliate. So two more days. If I can stream tomorrow and Monday, then I'm a Twitch affiliate. And then you guys, those of you guys that are helping me out on Twitch, you can keep doing that if you want. But really the goal is just to get affiliate, and then I don't really care as much. Then I can take Tardis's Prime subscription. That's all I care about. Trying to make money off of Tardis. Plan is a sorcerer and warlock multi-class. Astarion is a fighter. Thief rogue multi-class. And then we have a Tempest Cleric and an Oathbreaker Paladin. Well, hello. Why do I feel like I unlocked this on my other run, but I wasn't allowed down here? Everybody's failing their perception checks. What the hell, man? Hmm. Is that blood? No, never mind. Watch how you go. There's a trap. It's curious. Softer than a whisper. Head carefully. There's a trap. Places. Crazy. They actually shooting something at me? <laughs> oh crap, hopefully there's no grease. This is making me a little nervous right now. This is making me real nervous. Well, this doesn't appear to be trapped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mausoleum Golden Key, Skeleton, Shield Plus One, A Legacy of Hoon, and... A... Okay, hold on, we gotta pause the game for a second. Keep your distance, darling. Something's killing me here. Um... I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Take two. By my oath. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Please have a crazy AoE. Other secrets in here. Just want to make sure there's not like a an illusion somewhere. Oh. Crumbling wall. Whoa! See, I just noticed something. Why is that hitting me? Come on. Do I have to come in here and disable these? Seriously? Why is that hitting me? I didn't know that this existed. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I almost left this place too. Secrets in this game, right? I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Just hoping that this room isn't trapped. Time to press ahead. We're gonna bring everybody in. Come on, folks. 
Foxy Peach, thank you so much for the Australian 799. Hi from Tasmania. Loving watching your streams. Thanks for the entertainment. Thanks for hanging out and thank you for the donation. From Tasmania. We got anybody else from Tasmania in the chat here? You don't hear that too often. That's awesome. My best build is mainly a bard. Can't go wrong with a bard, right? One cleric, one wizard, two paladin, eight college of swords. Okay, what are we doing for a perception check here? That oh. Might be worth a look. Oh, wow. Wonder if that's just another way. I, I bet you this is just another way into the mausoleum here. Probably brings you right to the outside, I'm assuming. Hmm, let's see. Lord Gregorian Gorion. This compendium lists and pays special tribute to the citizens of Baldur's Gate who commissioned and paid for the mausoleum spot honoring Gorion. All right, so we got some uh, we got some major BG1 Easter eggs going on here. Pretty cool. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with the original games, Baldur's Gate One and Two, you are the ward of Gorion. That is your character. Gorion is your foster father. Gorion was a hero and a sage of exceptional mind and respectable manner. Under a graying exterior, he harbored a heart that bloomed kind and good in Evergreen. And Gorion gets killed like within like the first couple hours of Baldur's Gate 1. Still a very important character in Forgotten Realms lore, especially when relating to the Ball Saga, of course. Is Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. I don't know enough about. I wonder if Larian was able to add any lore to Gorion. I'm not familiar with all of this. Damn. Um, I could try again with Minthara, but I'm a little bit worried that it won't let me, so let's use Inspiration, and I'm going to use a Hill Giant Potion. Oh my god, seriously? One more. I'm a casual fan, not keeping up with him. I killed Drist in one of my BG1 runs? Oh my god, what kind of person are you? Drist is a hero. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. Do we have a target? Can't pick up his corpse. Too heavy. I can send it to camp, though. Oh my god. No time to rest. We also have this one right here. Let me drop the skeleton. You need my expertise. Is this about gaining ground? I know what this book At is. Once. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. The Book of Prayers to Kelimbor, Judge of the Dead. Someone has annotated it with the following. These are little Okay, I don't know how to say that word, so we're gonna stop that book right now. Alright, so I wonder like what else is special? What else can I do in this room? Let me see if I can go through the hole with the imp. Oh, it doesn't even let you select it with the imp. Um, we move. could do disguise self. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Bet you disguise self gnome form would probably work here. I don't think I have the enlarge reduce spell. Nope. Don't got no Viagra.
Yeah, I'm sure that that hole can be found on the top. I don't think there's anything special about it. All right, let's go back up this way. Pretty cool, though. Really cool, actually. And that brought us up over here, which is further into the graveyard, it looks like. So do you guys see a hole anywhere? I bet you there's a hole. We come back this way. Well, this is where I went in right here, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see a hole. Reporting, if you are sure. Death's blessings upon you. I am Mortark's sire, devotee of Kelenvor. I pray you find comfort among the dead, as I do. To rid ourselves of the coils of flesh is a beautiful thing. My mum's down there. I put a candle in the box with her. She never liked the dark. I have a lot on my mind and well let's well, dig her up in it what are we waiting for in your name i belong in darkness not for communal use it seems best show some respect or some more cunning She's okay with me digging it up, though. There she is, Philomena. Hey, kid, you want me to turn your mom into a zombie? I'm no fool. I know this makes me the worst mother in the city, maybe the world. Maybe I'll even have to give up the title altogether. But my gods, I've got to live. I can't continue these little deaths day after day. I wasn't meant to be a mother. My precious, of course, I love him. More than anything do I love him. But better a mother gone than a mother dead, right? I've been going out at night, taking risks. It's the only time I don't feel like I've been necromanced into life. The handsome one, the one with the pretty lips, said he'd take me on a long trip. Let me clear my head. I've gotten all my coin together and we'll meet him tonight. My last chance at life worth living. God's help me. Mm. Here rest the remains of Ronnie Morello. Cause of death, starvation. Honor Commander, Her Commander Harold Lagerson, killed by deceitful followers of Baal. Rest in peace, Janina. Pretty sure some of these names are actual Easter eggs for BG1, but you got to be like a hardcore fan to recognize them. Realize Anna Marie. This tombstone has been vandalized. Its original wording replaced with vampires are real. More for me. Can't slow down. Speak with the dead. I, I think I'm gonna get in trouble if I do right now, so I need this character to leave us alone first. We have another mausoleum entrance and also oh wow, the mortuary. All right, let's, he's just watching me right now. So let's take, take my Still character alive. can probably sneak so back there. I was looking for a hole. Well, it's not that important. I was just kind of curious where it is. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's a dirt mound. Ladies and gentlemen, Manny Demos has entered the chat. 
Yo, Evil, I was watching some blackout clips the other day from like us like eight years ago. I miss those times so much. We gotta find a game that we can all play, even if it's just like once a week for a couple hours. Freaking sad, man. It's sad that we all got old. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're already old. <laughs> I have to keep going. Gotcha. All right. Um, we're gonna go into everything that we can possibly go into while we're here. That's the point of this run. But they struggle as we do. You'll not find a casket for your daughter there. This is ridiculous. Getting old sucks, I don't recommend it. Evil, I'm live on Twitch right now, just so you know. If you show up over there, I'll give you mod status. Just type in the chat, I don't even know if you have Twitch. Twitch is overrated. I don't even like my Twitch chat, you know, like why am I even doing this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Link says, yes, I know what you're saying. Bro, man, we're all getting old. Crazy. A seemingly endless list of names and causes of death are written in delicate cursive. Deceased, Duke Baleen Stelmane. So this is who the Mind Flayer was banging. Human female. Brown hair, slight build. Cause of death, death, blood loss. 36 stab wounds. Position of cut suggests deliberate placement. Right hand removed from body post-mortem. Blood sample reactive to crawler mucus. Deceased was paralyzed when murder took place. Burial. On hold until the Flaming Fist investigation is complete. <laughs> Only people like Danton use Twitch. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is it. You oh, they're not going to let me down there? What is that noise? Well, really now? Really now? Tempers are This calls for careful fire. Keep your hands deep. Seriously? Okay, it looks like it's up to a Starion. Watch your back. <clears throat> Stab wounds is misleading, right? Careful, I bite. Man, this game is so cool. I can't wait for Larian's next game. Like, how many other games out? We don't have any other games out there that are like this. Like a CRPG that actually takes visuals and entertainment to the next level. It's incredible. Untreated infection. Go. I'm going to turn evil into a suspicious user. Actually, I don't know how to make you a mod right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Evil's a mod now. Watch out. Watch yourselves. Switch chat. stupid jar of mystic carry on's lungs Ooh, this jar feels almost comforting i bet it's full of death magic An opic jar containing Mystic Carrion's breathless lungs. If you put your ear close enough, you can make out an unholy rattling noise. I 
I gotta send the dribble stuff to like my camp or something and then just pick them up. But I feel like if I send it to camp, I'm gonna forget about the quest. I got the clown hammer, that's funny. Why does rope weigh so much? Holy crap. Collection of Mortician's Professional Notes on Embalming and Mummification. I have purchased a rare find from an adventurer who found it in the Undercity, an ancient funerary jar containing internal organs that have been preserved for, I don't know, centuries at least. Their mummification technique is unknown to me and may include a combination of mortuary alchemy and ne necromantic enchantments. I must find the time to study this in detail, as what I learned could be invaluable in enhancing my own embalming techniques. I hmm. wonder if there's anything I can do with this jar. Oh, what is this right here? Oh, it's a broom. Is there anything else down here? Am I missing something? I don't think I am. Darian is a vibe. Of course, no talk. Game is missing otters. Of course, nerd. Of course. Who would have guessed? All right. Here lies Bargus freely. He should have looked before he leapt. Mighty Branwen. See Baldurg, taken by Umberly's rage, recovered by her grace. Grint Thorg fighter lost in Durlag's tower. Here rests Alistair Manley, taken but feel too a soon. Of sorrow at this grave. But why? Who is this? Looking ahead. That name on the tombstone before, it meant nothing to me, yet I felt a pang of loss all the same. What do you think it means? I think I knew that man. I think he helped me somehow long ago. And I grieved when he died. Not all Sharans don robes and dark armor. Some people live perfectly normal lives on the surface, blending in utterly so that they can serve the Dark Lady in utter secrecy. And not every skill that the Dark Lady asks of her followers can be taught in the shadows. Some can only be mastered on the streets, in daylight, amidst crowds. Lying, tailing, observing without being seen, picking a purse without being felt. I think I must have been sent to learn all these things from the man in that grave. Alistair Manley. Sounds human, and the grave wasn't recent. He must have died some time ago. And I mourned him already. He'd surely not have been buried here if he was exposed. He must have taken the secret of his faith to the grave, undiscovered. A very Sharan ending. I decapitated Karlak, if you guys are wondering where she is. to do who's next Mortok do you know of another graveyard we could choose I do but they struggle as we do you'll not find a casket for your daughter there this is ridiculous I just want to bury my little girl in peace I understand I will do what I can Oh, there's the hole that we were wondering about. Okay, so this is how you get into, really, the Hewn Mausoleum? Or is this how you get into this one? It's probably how you get into the Durambold Mausoleum. Don't touch me. That's proud. Wits and blades always sharp. No one to the shadows. 
shit, because I used my freaking action. Still breathing, despite everything. Holes master. Never saw that hole before. Yeah, it's really cool when you Wolfhard FPS is an expert on holes in Baldur's Gate 3. It's really cool when you take your time and just click on everything that you can possibly click on. So many secrets in this game. Hey Saul, how you doing? Thank you guys for being here tonight. I appreciate the thumbs up on the YouTube stream. I don't think you can even do that on Twitch, but appreciate it. Core Hall, thank you. I hope you get off work soon. Dude, this is just crazy. Like how much, how much is going on right now in this graveyard? And there's so much lore. I should bring up Harbs and Arbs Twitter right now because he made a post on um, all the names that are Easter eggs to Baldur's Gate One. Uh oh. Oh wow. Wow. I'll go this way. Dead. I always forget about that. <clears throat> Hellmaster Pull. Predator Essence. Each Predator Essence heals the Hellmaster before 4 to 40 hit points. Moreover, he deals an additional 4 to 40 necrotic da damage when he casts Grave Shot. Who the hell is this jabroni? Loose a bowl the necrotic energy. You can spend Predator Essence to empower the shot. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Whole playthrough. Hey, Hex. Thought he was going to do Dark Urge Redemption. Oh, I'm going to do it at some point. I'm still on my evil run, though, my regular evil run. Spiritual weapons turn by accident. Really? The darkness doesn't affect them at all? Oh, they're blinded. Really now? Disadvantage on attack rolls and just landed both of their attacks. Really now? Really, really. Got to move. Damn, it didn't even do that much damage.
Going to get some opportunity attacks here, though. A wise move. Bear Guardian should take care of that wolf. I don't know if it's going to... Yeah, I think Spirit Guardians will take care of him. Oh, not enough movement. Really now. Really now, bucko. What in? Badass. Such a waste of a spell slot. Did it anyways. Because I love it. Evil is everywhere? True. Reaction surge and another attack? What are we talking about? Threadents are hot AF? True. True, brother. 
You can throw the trident. Yeah, I'm aware of that. At least things have stayed. That's why I got it. A cool little mission in the jungles of Chult. Another step forward. Chief Houndmaster Paul, who trained our pack to perfection. Really, I can't do it again? Awaiting orders. Come on, Mimpara. Taking all the skeletons out of the tombs and sending them to my camp, where I will have an undead army. We have all the dog collars here. I wonder what you can do with those. Let's pick them up. Let us see. Fine. Lionheart Xena, fierce watchdog. At night, no one dared to pass her post. Nice. Stuffed owlbear toy. I want one of those. Owlbear beak and then Xena's dog body. Aw, that's kind of sad, isn't it? I feel bad now. Actually, no, I don't. The spirits of the dogs attacked me. Fearless Gordis, who would chase any prey and helped bring in our greatest trophies. Oh, I didn't mean to drink the potion. Damn it. 42 balls? What the hell? Loving master right there. Put one on a starry hand. Just like we did in the Underdark. I wonder, I wonder if you get those collars out before combat begins. I put one on a star and it didn't do anything. What happens if you put them all? What if it happens if you put all three of those on during that fight? Let me look up something real fast for the lore. Hold on one second. Not the puppy collars. Here lies the Houndmaster of the Durin Bolds. Surrounded by his loyal pack, good boys and girls all. Stuffed owlbear head, stuffed wolf head, and stuffed bear head, and boar head. Something over there. Aha. Queen of the Ravens, that's cool. So every single mausoleum you can get into, you don't have the opportunity to lockpick or you fail. There is a hole leading into all of them. Feather token. If you fall while carrying this token, you take no falling damage. The token's magic is expended after you land, whereupon the disc becomes non-magical. 
That's a really cool item. Never seen it before. That thing is small, and I am not. Yeah, let's get out of here. How Let me click on the stuffed this? bear. It's big. Thanks, Sim. But still young. Heavens help the hunter if its mother caught them. <laughs> I have plenty of shovels on this run. Dark Urge cares not. Okay, one more building to search here. My girl, my sweet baby girl. At your word. Our enemies still draw breath. Wow, uh, that looks like Auntie Ethel. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any odors before then, treat the body with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. I don't have the shape-shifting helmet on my inventory right now, but we don't need to do that anyways, because I'm already I already got in, so. There's some strange things happening in this graveyard. Velm Morba. I deal with the dead, but the more talk tends to them and the living who mourn them. If you have any concerns about strange goings on, kindly speak to her. She patrols the graveyard. Good day. Good day to you, madame. What? So for how long? Oh, and look, there's also keys in this house. You don't have to lockpick. Elturel Inferno, a city drawn into Avernus. Where did the fog go? Banished by Umberly. Admission rules tightened for the upper city. Gang war rumored between arms smugglers. Duke Ravengard, an official mission to Elturel. Scandal strikes Phantom Per family. A lot of references to his descent into Avernus in the paper. Girl in peace. You're welcome. What is that noise? Can I have that, please, sir? Of course, love. And, and please don't call me. It's not much, but handing out leftovers is the least I can do with the absolute almost upon us. Sorry, I'm just waiting for some food. Then I'll get out of your way. My tummy hit. Okay, so we came up right here earlier on in the session. We went into Kandahalo's tombstone right here where there is an entrance to a temple of Baal where a very important character is awaiting us, but I won't spoil it for those of you that don't know. We searched the graveyard, we found a few mausoleums, including Gorion's mausoleum, which is really cool. Then it came back through here, and now we're going to check out whatever this house is right here in between. See if there's anything right here. Alright, let's go ahead and go in. Oh wait, is this... Oh, this is the Elfsong Tavern. Okay. We've already done the Elfsong Tavern, so let me come back this way. And I guess we'll continue on with the graveyard. Let me just check this little alley. 
Let's check the roof of the Elsong Tavern. Go ahead and fly. Get up here. See what's going on on the roof. Hey, look at that. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. This is the roof of the Elf Song Tavern? He's delivered. Yes. He's this is sick. I hope this is important. For your sake. Something over there. Cracked tile. Ocean of speed. Nice. And a web grenade explodes into a tangly mess that webs creatures within. By my oath. So much content in this game, plus there's content that you might see by virtue of decision-making process. I don't know if my PC can handle this game. Well, you can always play it on PlayStation, soon to be Xbox, or you can play it on GeForce Now on your PC. Then you don't have to worry about PC specs. If it is for the best. There can be no respite. This will be such a lovely place to hang out on a Friday night. Oh, there's a hatchway into the tavern. That's cool. The true and impossible adventures of Tenny Brooks Morrow. Guy is quite the storyteller. Curious. That's volume four, and this one is volume one. I'm going to pick it up. Make sure I find all of the volumes. Let's see what room that this leads into. Oh, okay. I am loath to pay for accommodations in such a vulgar establishment. So this but is if the. If we are to rest here, we must. These are the doors to the large room that we can turn into our camp, which I think I'm going to do here soon because it doesn't look like we can stay at the Blushing Mermaid. Yes. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, bollocks. I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. Yeah, day and night cycle will be nice. Or at the very least, like, if we we're allowed to rest in the city, and then we could walk the city streets at nighttime, and then we rest it again, it would turn to morning. Play on low settings, and it's still good looking. Night Warden Minthara. Adventurer Curiosity. An adventurer? <laughs> Fantastic. We don't have enough of those in Baldur's Gate. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stalman's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. <laughs> Good luck, then. Goodbye. We're not picking up that quest. We're not helping out the Flaming Fist solve the murders. No, no, no. Am I allowed to come in here and search this room? Yes, I am. Notes on Stelmane's murder. Deceased, Duke Stelmane. Private room upstairs, Elfsong Tavern. Cause of death, sus suspect blood loss. Observations, ritualistic killing. Right hand missing, clean severance, likely before death. Mark of the absolute on the floor. Empty bottle, recently drained of contents. Motive, suspect ballist ritual. But won't tell Valeria that. Valeria is the holly fant. A bloodied ring. It's hardly an elegant piece. So either the killer had taste or theft wasn't the motive. Leave that alone. This is a crime scene. Not Sorry. An antique collection. I didn't even mean to pick up the ring. Okay, let's get out of here. Late, I think with a five dollar super chat, you can wash off blood and gore by throwing a bottle of water at yourself. But then I wouldn't look as cool now, would I? At your command. I'm supposed to be intimidating folks on the streets of Baldur's Gate. 
Thank you, Leda. You missed the elephant? Don't ever call a holly fan stupid. How dare you? Okay, back down into the city streets we go. Why is my group looking all evil? That is because we are currently half elithids. We are half mind flayers. I do have to take a rest here soon. If I get into a combat encounter, I'm not looking too good right now. smell of rot the smell of death sister always hides from me she likes to play if i were her i'd be hiding too you smell terrible up close no i am clean i take good care of myself like sister taught me sister might need a wash though she is hiding from me in the ground over there. I'm sorry, but your sister is gone. Best to let her rest in peace. I can't leave her out here alone. Sister is always happy to see me. She told me so. She will smile so much when I find her. He won't listen to me. Gwyn Highbury, stillborn but not far Sandrill, gone but ne'er forgotten. Oh, this is where we came out of the Gorion mausoleum. A statue of Jergal. Lord of the end of everything, the final scribe of the fate of the deceased. I smell withers. My Agnes should be dancing in the market. Flowers in her hair. Not here. Not like this. I hope the Grand Duke strings up whoever did this to her. Flandro Tarask Biter Grassley, the hunter hunted, the biter bit. <clears throat> Keep a lookout. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead, but I won't be long, I promise. Who are you raising from the dead? My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy, but I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. Hey, Arguin. Thanks for stopping in on Twitch. Appreciate it. Exorde me, Merkel. Resuscita fratemeum. Immorte ad me redigo eo. The air crackles with power before fizzing out. The child has power, but lacks control. Oh, you're close, Merkel. I can feel your shadow. Give my brother back, please. Ooh, we got some interesting dialogue options here. Warlock Arcana, tell the child all you know of how fiends snatch souls from the afterlife. Or Sorcerer Arcana. Magic is about instinct. Trust your gut, trust your magic, and the rest will flow. I don't get any bonuses for Arcana checks, but I think we're going to go with the Warlock. Yeah, for those of you guys that 
are not aware, I am now simulcasting on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And I think I'm going to be doing this for the foreseeable future. I don't really see much of a downside to it, especially if I can combine the chats together to where you guys can see the people on Twitch um, in the YouTube chat or vice versa. I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. Uh, but it's good for me to grow on two platforms so I can have a backup. Who knows if Twitch will go anywhere? Really not that worried about it. As long as I have a place where like if for some reason my YouTube channel was banned or, you know, something happened, at least I have a place where I can go live and still do things. And if I can slowly build up an audience over there over time, that'll be nice. And I think I'm going to be a Twitch affiliate in a couple days. So we got that real fast. So I appreciate you guys helping with that. Twitch partner requires 75 concurrent viewers. Um, Twitch affiliate only requires three. So Twi Twitch partner would let me stream in a higher bit rate and higher quality. But uh, I think it's going to take a long time for me to have 75 concurrent viewers over on Twitch. Although I just started on Twitch and we've had like 30, 25 to 35. So who knows, I guess. I'm going to have to hope like a new game comes out and I catch like, there's not really a Twitch algorithm, but if a new game comes out, hopefully... Um, 30 or 40 of you guys show up in the Twitch chat, that already puts me above like 98% of the people streaming on Twitch. That gives me a better chance of discoverability. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, sorry for distracting you all. Let's, let's go back to the game. We're in an intense moment. I ruined it. Appreciate it, Preston. YouTube will always be my baby though. She Mitch, how you doing? Along, enraptured by your explanation. Oh, that makes way more sense. Let me try again. Speak with the dead. Thanks, yo. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Damn, man. These guys have high HP. 96 HP. Oh, shit, man. I am, like, almost wiped with my party right now. I don't have turn undead anymore either. Wow. Might have to do divine intervention. Divine intervention. Sunder the heretical. 8 to 80 damage. Call upon your deity to bring forth a radiant cataclysm upon all nearby enemies. I wanted to save this for like a moment um, where I really needed it, but at the same time, if I don't use it now, I'll probably never end up using it. And I think you only get to use Divine Intervention once your entire playthrough. It's really interesting that Larian included it. I think it's really cool. I also have Opulent Revival, resurrection fall resurrect fallen companions with half their hit points and restore all nearby allies if they have long rested. Whoa, that's really good. Golden Generosity, call upon your deity to provide you with a rich bounty of potions and camp supplies. Or call upon your deity to grant you a legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond. Get the item one? You think the, you think it, the item is good enough? Like it's going to be better than what I have right now? Save it for boss or endgame? See, the problem with that is... If you don't use it, you lose it. And I bet you if I try to save it for a future boss or endgame, I'm going to forget to use it. You know what I'm saying? I should be okay here, but... Hey, Maurice. Thanks, Mike, for stopping over in the Twitch chat. Appreciate it. Necrotic Veil. Undead Warra. Do additional three damage. Deathless one protects his... You know, the Radiant one is actually quite weak. Imagine if you only did, like, eight damage using Divine Intervention. That would suck. Kaz says, I saved it for endgame and never used it. Yeah, exactly. Right? I think we can use it right now. Um, I'm in a pretty bad situation, and this guy is really powerful. I think we're going to use it. But I really want to know what the weapon is, though. It's a... Wait, hold on. Is that is that a weapon that you actually get in your possession? Or is it like a summon? It says, Arm Thy Servant. Legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond. Screw it. I just used the Radiant one. Who cares? I used it. It helped. Barely touched this guy. Yeah, that was kind of a waste, but you know what? I don't care. The real one. It's one of the best weapons in the game. That's okay. 
heading there. It's not better than the weapons that I have right now, okay? I miss this. Trust me. On my way. Trust me. It might be. Oh no, Starion, what are you doing? No, just lost my high ground. This guy should be able to resurrect people. So much for peace. Plus three. You think I'm gonna give up my trident though? You know? You think I'm gonna give up my trident for a stupid mace granted by my god? You're out of your damn mind. Tell you what we'll do. We'll go back to a different load point and I'll summon the mace so you guys can see it. Hey, Pilot, what's up? I know I did say the game loves maces earlier, didn't I? <laughs> Larian just loves maces, and maces are probably one of the least popular weapon picks, I think, if I had to guess. I did try, I think I did try the Divine Interventions on my first run. I just have a bad memory, so I don't remember what it did. Oh, this guy has 23 HP. Let's do... Just attack it. Alright, let me... I ruined everything! Yeah, you did. You ruined my divine intervention, too. Me at F5, we're going to go back to a previous load point just so you guys can see the other divine interventions. Let's go back to... Oh, wow, my last save is all the way back in the Blushing Mermaid basement? Holy crap. Carly says, welcome. Trident is better. So many buffs, passives, but the mace is really solid. It doesn't really matter anyways. It's not like Act 3 is like challenging right now. We're just wrecking through all of these combat encounters. Maybe I'm speaking too early and we're going to end up in a combat encounter that kicks my ass, but the past like 15 hours of gameplay has been pretty easy so far. It says I did it in my first playthrough, then I never used the divine stuff again. Yep. You only get one use, which is crazy that Larian included that spell, but I think it's really cool. All right, here we go. Divine Intervention. Let's do Arm Thy Servant. Summon a legendary weapon. Devotee's Mace. Oh, it just auto-equipped. 7 to 19 damage. one d 6 plus 5, but then you get 1d8 Radiant, and you get Healing Incense Aura. Emanate a soothing aura. You and nearby allies regain one to four hit points at the start of your turn. That is a pretty cool mace, not gonna lie. How long does that last? Lasts for 10 turns. That's pretty cool. I mean, one to four hit points isn't a lot, but. <sighs> you know, the damage doesn't really matter, though. I mean, it's not like I, my cleric uses weapon attacks. Like, hardly ever. Even though I did it, my last attack was a weapon attack. So it might even be better. The damage is pretty damn good, but... It might even be better just to have, like, the Blood of Lathander so I have the Sunbeam spell. It's not like I'd really be making use out of the damage really that much. 
So not a big deal. Cool mace, though. Happy that we took a look at it. Dual wield them? Well, maces aren't... Um, maces don't have the light property, so you shouldn't be able to dual wield them, dual wield them unless that mace is different. You would have to have the dual wielder feet. Uh oh, Mitch with a $25 super chat. Don't tell everyone what I said when I tell you shit, it's between us. But you posted in the public chat. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate it, man. Need defeat, yeah. I don't think I want to do a wheel with defeat, so I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and get rid of Saluna's spear, though. I'm never making use of Moonbeam. I keep forgetting about it. I'm going to put the Blood of Lathander back on. We're going to try to use the Sunbeam spell and also equip a shield. That'll be better for Cleric, or for her anyways. Yeah, there we go. Armor plus three, plus two, plus three... That one gives you shield bash, so we'll wear that one, or we'll wield that one. I love how I found that short sword plus two. That's a cool weapon. I am listening. Alright, let's do a little looting here. Adventurers Alexa and Orion Goodbeard in Treche Orchard. Artificer of Gond, crafter of odd sockets. We just called her Gramishka. That's those little creatures that uh, blow up when you cast magic on them. All right, let's break into this mausoleum. Oops, I didn't mean to lockpick with Minthara. Hope is hot. I almost moved it. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to say that much. Grumpy, what's up, man? I do it for the pure fun of it, the RP. Paladin dueling with a devotee mace and Lathander's mace? That sounds pretty sick. That sounds like a good time as a paladin. I love dual wielding in this game. Grief is hard. I gotta be real careful here. Should I take a long rest? I probably should. Let's go ahead and take a long rest. Let me stand up for a second too. Get the blood flowing. Actually, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real fast. If you guys don't mind. And I'll bring you guys to... Actually, I'm gonna bring you guys to the galaxy. Nice relax. It's Friday night, you know? Let's get a little ambience up in here. Be right back. Anybody still here? Or are you guys all ADD and you peaced out and now you're watching TikToks? I love the little TV. I could just play the game like this. 
Watch this. This is gonna be funny. Can you guys watch? Already feeling better. You are bold to seek me out after sharing your affections with. You guys cool with that? Better not be cursed. Thank you for the follow, lady. Appreciate it. We should all get the hell out of here while he's gone. That's funny. I hope this is I'm about to ban your ass. For your you gotta sake. be kidding me. Agreed. Right away. You guys want me to push Danton every time I come back to the camp? Hmm. We run around real fast. Try to discover any of the traps in here. Wow, look at Jurtle. Scribe of the Dead. Well, there's another room. Holy crap. Perception failed. You gotta be shiting me. Come here, Astarion. Be useful for once. The hell are you doing out here, my man? Seriously? We're going to disarm the vent, even though I could throw something on top of it. Well, that's a pressure plate, actually. Take it back. Belting Astarion canceled. True. Okay, if everybody fails this perception check, I'm ending the stream. Got to keep moving. The only way I'm coming back is if Mitch begs for it. Mitch, you here? I want you to beg for my return right now. It's up to you how the, it's up to Mitch right now how the stream continues on. It's either going to end or it's going to continue. And it's up to Mitch. The fate of the stream is in Mitch's hands. I'm serious. I'll go watch. I'll go watch Vikings right now. I would love to watch Vikings. I'm on the final season, watching it for the second time. Oh, it's a great show. Come on, Mitch. What do you want? I'm giving Mitch 20 seconds right now. Okay. All right. Mitch paid me money. <laughs> We're coming back. Mitch did a twenty dollars. You guys see how I manipulate you guys so I can get money? Oh, it works every time. Thank you, Mitch, for the $20 super chat. Appreciate that. I know exactly where that $20 is going. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate it, man. All right. What now? Never wanted the easy path. <laughs> what now? Mitch is the man. With pleasure. <clears throat> Worse than the Emperor. Mitch is a legend. I don't know if I go that far just yet. Mitch is pretty cool, though. Mitch has donated a lot of money to the stream. Let me just tell you guys that. If I was to add up all of Mitch's donations, Mitch has funded my future child's um, college fund. <laughs> I don't have a kid on the way. Not in the near future. Can't be having kids when uh, when there's hags around, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Love pulling out torches Traps. in this game. How considerate. Oh my god, like 30 people left the stream when I went to the ending screen. No! 
The strength check. Let's bring Minthara over here. Can you on? Fresh orders. Proceeding. Um, somebody in the chat asked Mitch to gift some YouTube memberships, and Mitch gifted ten of those. Holy crap. Thanks, Mitch. Welcome to uh, all the new and returning memberships. I see some great names in there. Oh, I'm still streaming on Twitch. Forgot about you guys. You guys aren't as cool as Mitch. Grand Mausoleum Offerings Key. Okay. Scroll over Vivify and a skull. Huh. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Wolf, well, put your damn moon lantern away. Thank you. Thanks, Mitch. How to get in line for that? I think you just got to be an active chatter and be present at the stream more than other people. I think the gifted memberships prioritize people that are here more often. I'm not sure if it's on a per stream basis or overall. But, um, yeah. Something like that. Baldur's Gate versus Flynn Silver. Case for prosecution. I don't care. Pick it up and read it on my own time. You guys aren't interested in that. Don't linger. Corpse Rose. I think we're done in here. Mitch, did you ever get good at using the camera in this game? World Series BG3 stream? Grief is hard. Am I going to name my future kid Tardis? Probably. You've been such an outstanding person. On I go. Would you let me use your name? Be an honor. Flowers, every color of the rainbow, right here. Here lies Gayera Snake Mother Denise, Matriarch L. Brenton, beloved. Yes. I think this is the hole to get into the uh, Grand Mausoleum. Oh, no, it's not. Whoa. Olof does. Best keep your hands to your... Damn it. Lionel. What happens if I do this? Am I going to go to jail? You're seen trying to move a body. You're being... Well, you're going to die. Is that calling the flame? Oh shit! Here comes the flaming fist. Corpse is a good way to become a corpse yourself. Oh no! You folks leave me no choice but massacre. You leave me no choice. Really? Oh man! I gotta. That's okay. Oh, this lady was annoying me, anyways. Okay, what do we got? Mod? You got 10 HP? Are you a joke? 90% with disadvantage. Turn off sharpshooter. No, we need sharpshooter on. Hold on, sharpshooter off? Is... Okay. I'm gonna do an offhand attack. See ya. Dead. We'll move up this way. Then we're gonna do another offhand attack. Um, I'm gonna target the halfling first. I don't like halflings. Oh yeah, we got this. No problem at all. 70%? Sure. Sure thing.
Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Stay focused. Sucks to suck. Oh, I haven't tried the black hole yet. Create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and possibly slows them. Wow, that is really cool. And that'd be really fun with like a cloud of daggers combination. Oh man, wow. The lithic powers are OP. Black Hole is one of the best elithid spells. You found two bows with haste? Nice. Netherlands? What a beautiful place. I can use my name, but I mean, obviously, I have to be the Godfather. That's a given, Tardis. That's a given. Okay, one opponent left. I wonder if I can shoot from up here if these this is too high. Cannot harm sanctuary? You gotta be kidding me. Really now? How are you gonna cast sanctuary? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Survival is all that matters. Take that sanctuary. Faith will protect me. I'm about to do Sunbeam too. I think Sunbeam would work against a sanctuary target. Away. Kind of a waste, but should probably use it anyways just because it's cool. Watch this. Oh yeah, perfect. No problem whatsoever. I love my warlock carrying a sword that he's not proficient with and then getting opportunity attacks and dealing five damage. See ya. Ancient mausoleum key. I think I already went into that one. Warhammer plus one. Wow. Let's go ahead and send that to Minthara. Shield plus one. I got a snossage and a breastplate. Ooh, we'll send that to camp. How you doing, buddy? Got a problem? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Appreciate the, the thumbs up on the stream. Thank say. you. Yeah, I'm Wyvern. Hello. Happy Friday. How you doing? I voted in your poll, DM Wyvern. I can't remember what I chose, though. I think I chose keep streaming Starfield, if I remember correctly. Should mind my step. No traps, please. Yeah, which one was the Grand Mausoleum? Oh, okay. That was the Grand Mausoleum. All right, I think we did the graveyard. Pretty cool, a lot of content in here. I just spent like two hours in the graveyard alone. Huh? And I glossed I over all ahead. this content on my first run. Um, mostly on purpose, just because when we're doing every little thing the game offers, it can be a little bit boring for a let's play. But for the streams, it's perfect. So yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and leave the graveyard. Better than nothing. You need my expertise. Wonder if the gods are watching me. That might be worth a What did we just find? I don't even know what I just found. John says Starfield, not good. Well, certainly didn't make the headlines like we thought it was going to, but. I enjoyed my time in Starfield. 
I just don't, uh, I think it's pretty boring. But people on this channel don't really want to watch me stream it, so. I'll probably play Starfield, but I'm just feeling like sitting back, chilling. Not really worried about, like, having an entertaining stream or anything. Just play Starfield all night. I have plans on going back to it, because I was enjoying it. DM Wyvern's good at streaming, uh, games like that. I'm not. Merity. Same Carlac wasn't with you. She had a unique interaction in the graveyard. Carlac's head is with me. Does that count? Is Mentara speaking Elvish or Drow when she says, I don't know. Speaking Drow? Good question. Please play ME2. Yeah, if we get some uh, if we get some hype on ME4, if we get some information on the next Mass Effect. That'll be the perfect time for me to go back to the Mass Effect series. I enjoyed Mass Effect 1. Thought it was pretty good. Um, just not as into the space games as other people are. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely return to that. And I think I'll wait for some more Mass Effect 4 news. Just like with Dragon Age, I think I'm going to do another run of Dragon Age Inquisition, but I'm going to wait until we get uh, closer to Dragon Age 4 actually having a release date. This is interesting, having the fly spell. It's like much easier to find Cazador's Mansion. That was a really hard location to find on my first run. I couldn't figure out where the hell it was. Especially, I couldn't figure out where Cazador's Mansion is because in the lore, it's in the Tumbledown District. And this, the, the map that Larian has presented us here just didn't feel right to me, so I just couldn't figure out where the hell it was. But then I found it. Dragon Age Inquisition will be lit. Okay, and Dean Wyvern is good at streaming boring games. I'll take... Yeah, absolutely. That's a great compliment, Wyvern. I'm I actually, I don't know if I have her head, Mitch. <laughs> Let me search. Did I give Carlac's head to somebody or did I hang on to it? I think I turned it into the Paladins of Tear, didn't I? I don't know. I'm getting my playthroughs mixed up. Keep a blade close. I think Lazel is, um... Oh, no, I'm getting my playthroughs mixed up. Lazel died on my Let's Play series. Not by choice. She was killed by Orin. And uh, I took her body and brought it back to camp. I couldn't leave her body in the Temple of Baal. All right, so what do we have here? What building is this? The Diabolic Forge. Um, I'm gonna a backtrack talk? a little bit here. Make sure we don't miss a building. I must. We're gonna go back to the Kandahalo uh, tombstone entrance and then work our way up on the southern side of the graveyard. Relax head, yeah, I decapitated her. I don't see a problem with it. Gave it to the paladin for a sword. Yeah, yeah true. All right, so here is Candle Hollows, and here is the Elf Song Tavern, so let's work our way up this way. Make sure we explore every little nook and cranny, every door that we can possibly go in. Cleric's best spell? What are we talking? Uh, Cleric best spell? Spirit Guardians. Easy. Hands down. One of the best spells in the game. Okay, well, let's check this out. And I really want... I'm so sad that the, the Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance game that came out sucked. I really want like another... I want like a real sequel to Dark Alliance 2. A real solid action RPG. Isometric, just like Dark Alliance 1 and 2. Kind of Diablo style. Not the bullshit that we got a couple years ago. And I want to run the streets of Baldur's Gate again. So bad. You eaten at the Elf Song before? Awful, just awful. I had a stew there once that looked like it had a finger in it. <laughs> had a stew that looked like it had a finger in it. You've got to talk to the locals if you want the true story about Stelmane's death. The Gazette would never print all the juicy details. Oh yeah, we got to go into the Baldur's Mouth building to too to see what they've been printing anyway. about my party. Armbrust House. Armbrust House. How you doing, brother? You don't mind if I walk into your house? What are you doing here? Oh, okay. This is a private home. Understand? The fuck did you just say to me, boy? 
Close that door, Manthara. Starion, shoot a couple bolts in this man's forehead. Delicious. <laughs> sure thing, Wolfhard. Starion, take out the kid and the mother as well. <laughs> sure thing, Wolfhard. I mean, they really could have hired me over Neil Nuban. I actually tried out for the role, and I'm disgusted that Larian Studios didn't choose me. Come here, kid. You're pissing me off. It's all Papa's. It's all Papa Armburst's fault for being a jackass when I walked into his house uninvited. You kidding me? I'm a vampire. To be able to enter a home that I wasn't uninvited in, you should be celebrating me. See ya. Oh, you can't murder kids in this game? Oh, okay. Huh, interesting. I'm ready. Whatever interesting. It takes. You can slice open the stomach of a beautiful tiefling bard and pull her intestines out. And I can't shoot a crossbow on this little kid's head. You can fuck a bear in this game. And you can't shoot a little kid with a crossbow. Are you kidding me, Larian? There's a lot of developers that don't let you kill NPC kids. Like, you can't do it in Skyrim either. Is it really that big of a deal? What do you guys think? You can kill kid goblins? I know, right, Larian? What is Larian? murdered oh, someone shit. in view of a guard. Perhaps unsurprisingly, what does Larian think? Goblin arrest. kids don't matter? I talk my way out. I don't want to go to prison. Um, we're going to do a... Oh, shit. We don't have the right character. For, okay. I was trying to help. <laughs> Alas, I got here too late. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! You can't F the bear. The bear Fs you. There's no kids in GTA Online. You're free to go. This time. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Can't you pick up the kid and throw it? It really wouldn't... I mean, like, I can understand. Like, everybody draws boundaries in different areas. But I just don't see the harm in allowing me to kill that kid in this video game. Well, just to talk, then. And, and please don't... Considering everything else you can do in this game, like, is it really that bad for that NPC to drop to zero health and then fall to the ground? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right, we got to get out of here before the Flaming Fist suspect anything. I'll search this house at another time. I'm on my way. I never found the just, you know, casually committing murder in Baldur's Gate. Wiping out the families. Goblin kids are too cute. That's what I'm saying. They're pixels. Yeah, exactly. They're just a bunch of zeros and ones. What you need to be asking yourself, Wolf, is why do you want to kill the kids? Because they're annoying. Let's get going. All right, can we go back in here? Damn it, the flaming fist. You guys need to back off. All oh, the kids still running around here. You guys need to let me search this house so I can steal stuff. Oh, shit. And it looks like you're, you successfully okay, we, we better leave this out. Come on, let me go. Oh, damn it. Of being the cause of death. You gotta be kidding me. Thank God I have high charisma. All right, we gotta step away from this house. I'm gonna have to come back and search that house. Alright, that's the Elf Song Tavern. Let me just talk to. If I talk to. Lil Dara I yet? I don't think I have. The service here is worse than ever. What do you have to do to get a drink around here? That's what I'm saying. Okay, um, I'm definitely gonna save Sorcerer's Sundries for next stream. Let's go back into Baldur's Mouth, and then maybe I'll end the stream after that. That means I'm pretty much done, like, if, you, if I drew a line on the map right here. I've pretty much explored everything from right here across. Like, the entire northeastern section of the map. We have explored every nook and cranny. In your name. Oh, there's mouth is fun. Let's go check it out. Can't give up now. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Killing them isn't evil, making them watch your game is. What's the torsion story you spoke of yesterday? <laughs> I was just joking. I've never had uh, a particular torsion. 
All right, thanks, Mike. Hey, Twitch chat. Do you, oh my God, Twitch chat. I'm so sorry. I was, I just thought you guys weren't talking. Uh, my screen was paused like a half an hour ago. I'm sorry. D. Cole, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Did any of the updates bring the great axe's damage to be on par with great swords? Uh, I'm not sure. Haven't been keeping an eye on that. Man, I'm sorry, guys. Just ignoring you guys. Does anyone that grew up in the 90s know is video games are a gateway to real life crime? Good on them for limiting the violence. Yeah, I completely agree. Boulder's mouth. One five six, one five seven, one five. Oh, I'm sorry, count chat. One five. Shit! Where was I up to? You got up to one five eight. Oh, thank Karelan. You're a lifesaver. One five eight, one five nine. No. Like saying no. Ozzy is a devil fella. <laughs> hey Shy, what's up? Watch yourself in there. Sarky bastards, these riot types. Alright, let's head on into the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. And this is the city's primary media organization. <laughs> Not media, but <laughs> I don't think the word media exists in Baldur's Gate. Welcome to Baldur's Mouth. The home of fake news. Afraid I'll have to ask you to stop there. Only Etvard's allowed to use the basement elevator. Okay. Interesting. I didn't even know there was an elevator up here. When I came into my first run, I just took a right. Hey. Cut it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. What's the Twitch link? Uh, just just search Wolfheart FPS. I should come up. I think I'm the only Wolfheart FPS in existence. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. You better watch your mustache, halfling. Or I'll rip that son of a gun off. Your stupid little face. Nerd. I actually might commit mass murder in here. Seriously. Because I think I want to try to take this elevator. Oh, there's a steel watch guardian down here. Come on, Larian. Anytime I get a good idea, Larian just stops me dead in my tracks. You ever heard of this many guards for a bloody broadsheet? It's ridiculous. I agree, my man. I'll spare your life. You seem like a reasonable guy. All right, let's head on down, I guess. Um. Oh, wow. Look at this. Sorry, I'll go check it out. Oh, well, sure thing, Wolfhard. Well, hello. Watch your back. Interesting. I wonder if I could take out the Steel Watch. I bet you I could kill him. 267 HP. They pretty much have Blade Ward active at all times because they're resistant to physical damage. Well, I could kill these sons of guns. No problem. X. Oh. Why oh, murder the entire paper? Just in that kind of mood. No one back home will Why not? believe this. You know? Light on my feet. I should speak up. Good day, citizen. Please notify the steel watch if you wit Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Hey happy. You should play the Waterbury Open this weekend. Yeah, I'll see you there. Name the movie. I might have gotten it wrong a little bit, but name the movie. Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. This guy pisses me off. He really does. I might have to check in with my patron about that first, see how they feel about being in the spotlight. Well, you should have considered that before disgracing yourself in public. I've never heard so much violence against innocent circus freaks before. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. 
people will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Stop the article. Or I'll cook you from the inside out. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Lord Gortash is a passionate champion of the journalistic arts. Attack me, and you face the Steel Watch. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our Vox distinguished Machina. guest was just leaving. <clears throat> Would you care damn. to escort them out? Oh, I forget you get escorted out of here. Oh, damn it. Why not? Oh my god, you really had to attack Astarion first, the one who was going to make this fight possible? Are you serious? Serious, you stupid oil guzzler? Unbelievable. That was, that was, Astarion was going to rain hell. All right. You guys ready for this? Watch and learn. Let's go ahead and uh, create water. Let's go ahead and take a... Ocean of speed. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and create, um, create water. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow. I don't mean to put Wolf and Astarion in this, but it needs to be done. Mm, let's see. Foot, foot, foot. What? Oh, he is wet. Okay. Strike hard, strike hard. Um, this is gonna hurt. That didn't really do jack shit. Okay, that's not good. Lightning vulnerability, and I did like three damage to it. Are you kidding me? I'm too lazy to go through all these uh, notable features right now, so we're just gonna roll, go with the flow. All right, Astarian, I'm going to need you to take an opportunity attack, and uh, we're going to have to get you up here, my brother. Um, we could disengage, actually. Oh, that's great. There's like 10 more flaming fists coming in. Okay. Sure thing. Oh, what's this lever right here? What is this door up here? The hell? And there's a ladder. Oh, huh, okay. All right, folks, check this out. Oh, I don't have a bonus action. Hold on. Oh, I do have one bonus action. Check this out, folks. 90% with disadvantage because targets out of normal range. Um, really should focus on one, but you know, what are you going to do? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad, not great damage, but uh, we'll take it. Sucks that these guys are resistant to all that. Should do a lightning spell. Scroll or something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, down to 181. All right, Mr. Warlock, let's see what we got for scrolls. Got any lightning spells up in here? Not seeing any lightning spells. No witch bolt. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to have you do what I like to call Misty Step. You guys might not have ever heard of that spell. Oh, okay. I'm maimed right now. That's good. Sometimes it's just too easy, you know? Um, fire resistant, lightning vulnerable, cold invulnerability. Um, 
Okay. Wonder if this is gonna mess up the lightning. Okay, they both Yep, that screwed that up. They're still wet though, so that's okay. Alright, alright. I like where we're at right now. I'll be sad and alone on a Friday night. No, far out. we don't want to hear that. Hang out with the wolf pack. Mitch says I'm sad and alone every night. Oliver. Team Marie says, I feel this in my soul. In my evil run, animals are going to be the only safe ones. What if I have rabies? Are they still safe? You think that one through? Um, I don't think it's worth Hellish Rebuke. Do a little charm. Beautiful, beautiful. In tandem. You know, honestly, I could win this. Not likely, but it's possible. Shadowheart, are you serious? Are you serious right now? She's almost dead. What? That dude's attacking candles. That was weird. You're Canadian, Mike? Ooh. Not a big fan of the Canadians, my man. They don't tip well when they come to the USA. <laughs> no rabies? Wait, no rabies in Australia? Rabies doesn't exist in Australia? You guys don't need rabies. Every animal that you have there will kill you in one hit either way. All right. Oh, this will be a great opportunity to use cleave, but I don't have cleave. What can I use here? Let's think here. Actually, fairy fire might not be a bad idea either. I wonder if I could get fairy fire on the steel watchers. Could just do it on these characters. Or we could just go hog wild. Honestly, oh, it's three opportunity attacks I have to take. Oh, only one opportunity attack. I think I'm going to fly down and try to take on the steel watcher. Not worried about it. Oh, that's great. Maybe they make them too powerful. Man, the Steel Watch is just tough to take on at level 10, that's for sure. Um, I could one-shot all these guys over here, but we're going to focus on... Oh, they're just a little bit too far away for my liking here. I wonder if I got... Nope, that's not going to do anything. If I got up here, could I shoot down on this guy? It's possible. Um, I have to waste a bonus action, though. Let's just shoot from... Let's just shoot with disadvantage. I'm fine with that. I am A-OK -okay with that. Okay, 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 okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Level 10 with your party at level 12. It's not too hard. Appreciate the likes on the stream, everyone. And the videos. Thank you. Keep Wolf around. Look how vicious his rabies make him. All right, Shadowheart, you got a bit of a problem here, my friend. Oh, I wish I could get them both. All right, 204 HP, 102 HP, so we're going to do it right here. Oh, that was epic. 72 HP. Um, Shadowheart's about to die. Honestly? Oh, damn, man. What do I do? Bayheart's about to die. Can't fly away because I'm restrained. Um, ooh, man, this is rough. Do I have sanctuary? I don't have sanctuary prepared. Bless, produce flame, sleet storm, remove curse, old person, insect plague, uh, spirit guardians. Guardian of faith might not be a bad thing to summon right near the steel watchers, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, what the hell? Oh wait, six percent chance of success. Damn. Damn, man. Do do do. Oh, okay, it did work. I wonder if they're gonna know that I'm there because of the vines. Let's see how good Larian's game design is. What is my character doing? I'm maimed right now. All right, so this Steel Watcher is almost dead. Oh, okay. I guess they're going. It's my turn, but okay. Just take my turn, I guess. The hell? Thanks, Shy. Probably says I'm in my late twenties with no kids. So alone. Hey, you got plenty of time to have kids. All right, Zephiel, good luck in Lords of the Fallen. Kick some ass. Eat that game for us, please. I actually really like Lords of the Fallen. Okay, well, that invisibility potion didn't work. Someone will go away with death. It looks like my Guardian of the Faith has turned against me, actually. I don't know how that happened. I wasn't paying attention. That is Minthara on the ground, Shy, I think is who you're looking at. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, it is. It's Edvard Needle. Perfect. Fight's not over yet. If I was good, I would move Astarion back in between shots, but nobody said I was good. I don't have to do that. All right, Minthar. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got the Guardian of Faith up here. Let's... Ooh, opportunity attack. Really? Really now? Um, God, I would love to fairy fire, but 4% chance. What do we got here? Dreadful aspect. You know, honestly, I wish I could come over here. I don't want to take an opportunity attack, though. It's unfortunate. I guess we're going to have to... Oh, I can't attack this guy either. We're going to have to throw the weapon. Okay, well, that means we can't use Divine Smite. Do I have a mirror image scroll? I would honestly use it. No joke. I don't. I do have blur, though. And I have invisibility. Might not be a bad idea to cast it, to be quite honest with you. I'm worried that the Steel Watch will jump up at Astarion, though. That would be real bad. Um, I have invisibility spell, level 2. If I use invisibility, gaping wounds, maimed, movement speed reduced to zero. Okay, all right, well, um, hmm. Can I telekinesis one of these jabronis? Nope. Howl of the dead. Let out a bone chilling howl that numbs all nearby creatures. Movement speed halves. Spellcaster has advantage on attack rolls against the affected entity. Entity. Tasha's hideous laughter. 49% chance I'm one of these guys. That'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? If I landed that, that would be real funny. Tempted to try it. Control undead, that's not going to work in here. Um, revivify, we don't have enough range. Um, I could toss a heal over a shadow heart's way. Could do command. Command, drop. 49% chance. Or crown of madness. And still madness and a humanoid enemy. That's not going to work on one of these guys. You know, when you play Paladin, the only spell you use is Divine Smite, so you forget all the other spells that you have. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the responsible thing. We are going to do the responsible thing. And I'm going to go like this. We're going to take a Speed Potion. And we are going to Blur. And we are going to... Also, lay on hands, back to full HP. Okay. Or of courage, you fight. You, you and nearby allies can't be. No, we don't need that. All right. I'd rather marry the hag in this game than deal with another person like my axe. Dragon Pink, hello. Happy Friday. 
I'm not sure, Vinny. I don't know my weapon power as well enough. Oh, that's great. Oh, not bad, actually. Twin days. Oh, look at that Guardian of Faith doing 10 damage. Oh, come on, guys. I can take care of these guys, no problem. They get these Steel Watchers dead, though. Nice, Shadowheart. Succeeded. We don't have spell slots, we have smite slots. Australia is not allowed to have rabies because it would make them too powerful. That's a funny comment, chat. Even though I read it earlier, it's still funny. All right, what do we got to do here? We got to get a Starion back up. What is going on? Like, seriously, game? Do I have any more potions of speed? Oh my god, I do. Oh my god. All right, let's go like this. Um, let's... Hmm. That's not going to work. Let's... Let's see what we got to do here. I got a great idea. Something that you guys didn't even know was possible. I'm gonna blow your minds what you're about to see. I discovered it today. You guys see that? Incredible, right? All right, um, we got another spell. Okay, let's see here. This guy right here has 58 HP. Let's go ahead and do a Chromatic Orb Lightning. 85% chance. See ya. Oh, shit. I forgot that they do that. Holy crap. Steel Watcher is preparing for self-detonate. All right, then we're going to back up. Should have been doing that a long time ago. Hope Astarion can survive. Hey, Panic, what's up? How was your stream? German Shepherd's the best dog on the planet. Not changing my mind. I'll tell you what dog I've always loved. Wow, that's loud. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll, I'll talk once this scene is over. That's really loud. I want you guys to feel the intensity, though. Chromatic orb being random? No, it's not random. Alright, we gotta get out of here with Minthara. <laughs> um, wow. We are uh, maimed. That's great. Can I fly away when I'm maimed? I could go into Displacer Beast shape, which might actually allow me to survive. Um, or I could Telekinesis this guy. No, I can't. No, you can't fly when you're maimed. We got. Man, uh oh. This is not good. This is not good at all. Push this guy back. Think, think, wolf. Think, 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 think. How can I get out of here? How can I get out of here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have Misty Step Scrolls. Um. Oh, shit. That's all I can say. How much damage is this thing gonna deal? This would be a great time for Sanctuary. Wonder, no, say, never mind, I wouldn't, because I would still die from Sanctuary. Um, Warden of Vitality. Or of Courage. Let's see here. Crown of Madness. Um, what about Command? What about Command Flee? I don't think it's going to do anything, but I feel like I almost want to try it. Because maybe this can I feel like I want to try it. Let's try it. Why not? Okay, that was great. Nice. That was stupid. Okay. Alright. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and let's throw a health potion. Minthara is going to die. We're going to pick up somebody else. And her, her name is Shadows Shart. Let's go ahead and uh, send that to Min Minthara. We're going to do something here. 200 IQ play. Okay, I take it back. Really? I can't make it through that gap? Are you kidding me, Larian? Like, what kind of game design is this? Kind of 
kind of game design is this nonsense? Unbelievable. All right, I think we're just gonna take it like a champ. We're gonna take it like a champ. Oh, a heal removes main, does it? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Well, that would have made things easier, but... Too late. What game did you play, Panic? And Thara's still alive. 10 HP. It all worked out. I didn't think it was that easy to get rid of me. A simple. Oh shit, that's not good. Okay. Okay, we have a couple problems here. Oh no. Okay, well, I have one, one companion still alive right now. Oh no. Okay. Um, Alright. I don't think this is over yet. And I'll tell you guys why. Because I do have what I like to call a rune powder bomb. <laughs> I could take this whole damn place out with me. And actually, my character might survive because of uh, the elevation that I'm currently standing in. Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. This is far from being over. What do you mean, path is interrupted? You gotta be kidding me. Bro, does, did nobody in my freaking party play catch with their father when they were growing up? Like, what the hell is going on here? I don't know if it's worth throwing it at Minthara. Hmm. All right. Should have, oh, damn it. Stupid me. That's okay. I'm not going to tell you guys what I did, but I did something stupid. Uh. Alan Wake 2. I uh, see a lot of people playing that game. I don't really know much about Alan Wake, but is it like a, is it a spooky game? Perfect for October. Come on, Astarion, you just gotta survive one round, please, please, please. I should have shoved Astarion back with my bonus action. That would have been nice. Dude, where are all these people coming from? Oh, that's great. Well, there goes that fight. That's a fun fight. 
But I think it's over. Came so close, too. Never give up, though. Never give up. Here's about to throw the rune powder bomb down there. <laughs> guy's 155 HP. It's just so hard for me to get a Starion back up and then have it be his turn. I need him to survive one round, which is really, really hard. I could throw another potion at him, actually. But you know what? Let's do... We're going to do Minthara again. And then I'm going to back up. We're not done yet. <laughs> I mean, really, if I can just kill the Steel Watch guy... We gotta create some sorcery points here in a second too. Let me back up. I feel my way. This isn't over yet. Gamer stuff. Hello. Thanks for the 1999 super chat. I appreciate that. Sorry I let you down again. Should have pegged him Act One when he tried to bite you. Oh my God. You sick bastard, gamer stuff. Arrow of lightning. Uh, maybe. I don't know how much that would do right now. These uh steel watch aren't. Aren't vulnerable to lightning anymore. Only lasted for three turns. Come on, Minthara. Stay alive, my girl. Why does that have to land? Come on. Okay. It has to be a critical hit. Seriously, game? Oh, yeah, we're not done yet. Thanks, gamer stuff. First wasn't as scary, but two is pretty spooky. It has such a neat story and looks amazing. This is not Guys, like I wanted to play Alan Wake 2, but I want to replay the first one. This is a crazy battle so far, isn't it? And after I kill this next Steel Watcher, I still have to take out like 17 Flaming Fist soldiers. Man, Astarion's dead again. Ah, oh, I got a little unlucky with that. It's unfortunate. I don't know what these guys are going to do, though. The position that I have right now, I think they're all freaking out. Might just have to solo it with my Sorlock. Yeah, they're very confused right now. I could just get Minthara up for one round. Honestly, I've got another idea. 
Oh, that's great. I have an idea. You guys need to trust me. Just trust in me. My ideas don't fail. I don't think a Starium would even object to being pegged. True. All right, I do have an idea. And this is probably gonna amaze you guys. This is probably gonna amaze you guys. I don't, I almost don't wanna show off right now. Oh shit. Never mind, I can't do it. Oh, I can do it. Check this out. Good idea, I think. I had Gal, I could detonate. Self destruct. Take out the entire city. Battle is amazing. When in doubt, room powder bomb your way out. What? Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, you better be confused. Detecting presence. Oh my god, I got so oh my god. I just succeeded in that saving throw. That would have been that would have been real bad. Okay, things are looking a little bit better now. Things are looking much, much better right now. can't get that shot off. I'm afraid if I go anywhere else to try to do that, I'm going to get pulled down. Oh, it's so close, but it's not going to hit her, I don't think. It's possible that that works. Did I try it? Let's try it. Nice. It did work. Okay. Can I do it again, though? I don't think so. No! Just wasted an invisibility potion. No, 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 no. Not good. Come on, Shadowheart, stay alive. Stay alive, my girl. Hope the battle doesn't spill outside. I know I've been a little bit worried about that. Oh, wow. It's actually... This could be pretty sweet. Let's see what the Steel Watcher does with Shadowheart. Oh, look at these guys. They're all lining up for a nice fireball. Right 
Okay, we're game on now. Check this out. Oh, I don't have a shot at the steel watch. Ember. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's just start killing. Make sure I have enough movement speed. Hold on. Move up to here. We're just going to start taking out people here. I can't see the steel watcher. 95%, 95%. Um, honestly, I think we're going to help out Shadow Heart. 64% with this advantage, though. Ooh, 80 HP. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just be let's just be sensible. We gotta take all these guys out no matter what. We're gonna start off with this character. Delicious. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I wasted a shot. Damn it. Alright, and then we're gonna back up. No. No! Holy crap, I freaking survived. That's insane. But did I survive, though? Now I have 15 enemies around me. And no more potions of speed. Oh, that's a problem. It was all for nothing with Shadowheart. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's rough. We're gonna just go ahead and drink a potion. Should have just, you know what I should have done? Glorious Vault Potion. No, never mind. That wouldn't work because you need two bonus actions. All right, Shadow. This is one opportunity attack that you'd have to take right now to get me safety from a lot of people. I'm wondering if it's worth it. If I should just stay right here because it looks like these characters might not be able to even hit Shadow Heart. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stay there. All right, Mr. Warlock, come on up here, my brother. Hmm, do we resurrect Minthara right now? Watch this. Are you guys watching this? There goes nothing. Getting some. FPS mess ups right there. Into that. Oh, I thought she was going to push back into the cloud of daggers. Try and hex him. Try and. Why, why did we got to get a critical hit? Out of all the rolls, it had to be a critical hit. All right, panic. Have a wonderful night. There go. I can't believe that I'm still in this encounter, though. It's kind of crazy. Oh, that's just dandy. That's great. Okay. Shadowheart's dead. Minthara's dominated. You gotta be kidding me. Well, the good thing is they might not actually attack her. That could be a good thing. Uh-oh. That scares me a little bit. Let's see, who do we got with low HP here? 81%. Who's the one that dominated Minthara? Her. Wait, her? Yeah, her. Okay, so we're going to attack her. 14 HP. Let's do an offhand attack. Dead. See ya. Okay. Now let's attack. 77 HP, 39. Oh, that's Minthara. <laughs> Don't want to kill Minthara. Take out guard Vlomina. Beautiful. And now let's take out guard Unilda Tiro. Yeah. 
Oh, great shots out of the elf. Over here. I'm a little bit worried that that steel watch guy might be coming up. What is going down in the YouTube chat? Pegging talk? That would be gamer stuff. And a few others. That are egging gamer stuff on. Come on, Minthara, just survive. Please, one more turn. No, to survive. Oh, God, that would have changed everything. I could have got a lay on hands, 40 HP heal. All right, let's go. Take out, uh, yep, yeah, right here. See ya. Next up is uh, this guy. Beautiful. I'm gonna back up. Hopefully, I backed up enough. Oh, wow, you can get onto the roof from up here. If I needed to retreat, I could go back even more. I will move up to right here, and it's time to do. Let's see. We have Black Hole. I don't know if that's going to do much for us right now. I could black hole. Oh my god, wait. Watch this. Oh, I didn't pull everybody into it. That was a good idea though, right? I think it was. All right, then we'll back up. Oops, I created sorcery point, not spell slot. God. Why'd I do that? Mitch is a watcher. Good night, Oliver. Thanks, as always. Appreciate you. Starion is a snitch? Not what a Starion thinks. Alright. Oh, wow. Nobody's really in our... Well, this guy is. Okay. Looking good. Looking really damn good. Can't wait to watch Vikings after this. It's what it's it might be my favorite show of all time. I don't know if you guys have seen Vikings. Now don't get me wrong, The Last Kingdom is very close to being as good as Vikings. I just love Vikings so much. Especially the first four or five seasons with the main actor. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but it's just such a great underrated show came out on the history channel like 15 years ago 10 years ago um didn't really take off when it first came out now it's on hulu just a great freaking show man you know what honestly Girlfriend doesn't like Vikings. Haven't seen it. Oh, you better add it. It is great, Meredy. Trust me. Vikings, me. Are you kidding me, Mitch? This changes everything about our relationship, my man. You're gonna say meh for my favorite show? Let me guess, Mitch. You've been watching The Bachelor. You've been watching The Golden Bachelor. As good as Ancient Aliens? Is that, is that a compliment or not? I honestly don't know. Alright. Um, sure. Okay, there's only a couple of combatants left. The Steel Watch guy is down on the bottom. That's a little bit nerve-wracking. God, man, Astarian is kicking ass right now. Holy crap, that's some damage that he just did. Nothing will stand in my way. 
All right, we got the steel watch guy down here. I don't think I can... I don't want to aggro the entire city either, so I'm a little bit worried here. What if I did a black hole right here? Didn't really do much. I thought it might move him. Come on in, buddy. Don't jump out into the streets, whatever you do. I think we should probably get Minthara up as our first plan of action here. Just to try to get this guy to come in. Getting some major FPS stuttering um, when it switches turns in this building. Okay, Minthara's up. And we're going to hold our position. Oh, show. Actually, I could probably... This is risky. Let me hit F5. I should have done that a long time ago. We're going to move it over here. Not sure if the Steel Watch guy can pull me from up here, but we're going to find out. Life comes easy these days. Can't pull us both, right? Maybe he can. The Boys is a disgusting show. I didn't watch that one. Heard a lot about it, though. You have a poster of Ragnar? Oh, man, Daddy December. That's why I like you. Fresh great orders. character. What a great actor, too. All right, Minthara, I need you to come over here. Actually, I need you to back up a little bit. A I want the Steel Watch to kill you. We'll go ahead and drink another potion. Here he comes. Damn, the reach on that is insane. All right, Astarion. Pick some ass from me, my brother. Feel that Not too shabby. Let's back up a little bit so he doesn't pull me down. I think he's probably going to pull me down. Let me move over here. Nothing important is ever easy. Okay, now let's go ahead and just kick some ass. 108 HP. I think it's resistant to fire damage though. Hold on. It is. Yes. She's maimed! All right, so you guys are telling me oh, I don't have cure wounds. Let's just so if I drink a potion while I'm maimed, that'll take away the maimed. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, great. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Oh my god! One HP? Right away. I think I did it. That's pretty sweet. All right, we destroyed the entire Baldur's Mouth, Steel Watch and all. Always know their own minds. Got to keep them safe. Well, that's fun. Honestly, I didn't expect to survive that. But uh, that's pretty cool. Come on down, Astarion. While you're doing that, let me go explore the ceiling. What they? Or the roof. Never wanted these explore parts. the ceiling. GG's, y'all. Thanks for hanging out for that one. I'm going to explore the rest of this building. We'll go see what's in the basement, and then that'll be it for tonight. I think we do have a... It'll be interesting to see what's in the basement of this place, though. Wow, look at the view up here. This is incredible. I just, I'm so sad that I can never relive my first time playing this game. It'll never be the same for me. Having a great time in the second run, but it's just not nearly even close to being as fun as the first time. And seeing all this for the... Sad times, man. No one stopped me yet. All right. Oh. You wish to consult me? No, I do not. I wish for you to shut your yapper. Okay, let's go ahead and get Mrs. Shadowheart back up. What is this? Oh, does this lever lift it back up? Probably does. Tempers are rising. Oh. It's clear. Really now? You want to question my authority? Really? What a day. Be quick. No choice but to kill. 
keep going. Funny if I aggroed the entire city after this. We should have minions for such things. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find. Not for communal. Doesn't want me to close the door. Hush, my darling, hold me tight, and you'll fade away. A touch. I've been spotted fiddling with that. All right, who wants to die? Are you kidding me, Zeta? I have a name is Zeta. Hush, the morning Lock moonlight picking, comes And we fade away mm. Ooh, Some over, down, and under way Everyone has to contribute, my darling We all have to take care of each other I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it this is really pissing me off right now. Somebody's in here telling me that I can't be going through this. Who would have the guts to tell me I can't do that? Who's next? Kione. The arch. Thank you, Shy. I appreciate that. Thought you hated that song? I mean, I, I like it when I sing it, not when Alfira sings it. Watch your back. Oh, that's great. Good stuff, Wolf. Yeah, Boris Labs. An absolute legend in the industry. Keep your blade close. Ooh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Before I go in there, we gotta resurrect Shadowheart. Enough. Tempers of right. Dude, is everybody just. Who are these people that are not letting me loot after I mass murdered the flaming fist and the steel watch? Oh, it's this little joker right here. Are you kidding me? Stupid gnome. There we go. Now I can finally loot and free freedom. Hush, my here? darling, don't you cry and fade away. Love the lyrics to that song. Alder's Mouth Chest Key. Okay, from Edvard Needle. Silver Key, Ink Spattered Key see what type of paper gets written tomorrow you know what i'm saying i think we got a lot of employees here that are uh on family leave enriched infernal iron what can you do with that i can't remember is there anything you can do with it pick it up anyways you just sell it a lot of looting in here damn Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go through this door first. Probably have a key now, right? Yep, easy peasy. All right, we got another key. Picture of Gortash. Never liked that guy. 
I'll take all the books I can get. Trust if I can nerd out when you guys aren't watching me. Really? Gigantic chest like that has 45 gold and a health potion? Interesting. We're getting all sorts of keys in this place. My good friend Etford. I've noticed the quality of your work has been slipping as of late, despite the new equipment I provided. Tsk tsk, Etford. I'm sending along material for urgent publication about some dangerous adventurers who've been allowed into the city. Attend to it. You must not hear any more about my interfering with your editorial voice, because that voice now belongs to me. Signed, Lord Gortash. Le O. Hazur. Loser Gortash. Oh, I guess we could just go this way to the basement. I'm assuming that just brings us to the basement too. So let's get everybody together and let's take the lift because that's more fun. Ah, oh, good question, Team Marie. I'm not sure. Imagine you murder the whole place, but the paper still talks shit about you after. Oh, that's funny. Weight ratio is good for keeping loot. Shadow Heart's your favorite character. Everybody in. Come on. Everybody in. Let's get going. Oh, it's so annoying having to do this. A little bit more, buddy. You <sighs> wish to consult me? Go. Awaiting the There we go. Huh? Sorry, I hit the lever. Okay. Tempers are rising. Are you effing kidding me right now? At your disposal. Are you kidding me, Zeta? What now? Brother, I might have to assassinate Zeta in broad daylight. Subtle steps. Halt, citizen. Submit to inspection. Oh shit. In the name of Lord Enver Gortash. The parasite reels in your skull. Something within the Steel Watcher tugs at your mind. Oh my god, why is this... Why is this happening to me after that epic battle that we just did? Luality, hello! You're finally using the BG3 extension. Yep, I am. Thanks to Shy Violet. She sent me a DM and we figured it out. Thanks, Shy. I don't even know what the, the BG3 extension really is. I've never tried it before. This is like my first time, uh... This is my first time stream... Uh, this is my third time streaming on Twitch in like four years right now. It's the best thing. I'm gonna have to try to come on, uh... Your stream when you stream BG3 next time and see if I can use it. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool that they allow that. It's really cool. Mitch says, by the way, Mike, oh, you guys are fighting right now. Oh my god. Josh B, who needs money when you can just take what you want? True, my friend. Shadow Heart needs some makeup? Hey, she's beautiful just the way she is. Okay, so you watch your mouth in my chat. Alright, let's try again. God, man, Astarion's gonna go to jail after everything that we just went through. I don't want to use another inspiration. Oh, one more can't hurt. I'm addicted to gambling. Oh no, at this point I might as well just do one more, right? Why not? Okay, alright. Why you don't gamble, folks? Your trial is complete, villain. And the sentence is imprisonment. Please comply. Hey, uh, hey, Luality. Are you going to stream on YouTube now that they allow simulcasting out of curiosity? Not that you have to, but genuinely curious. That'd be cool to see you go live on your YouTube channel. I'd be interested in seeing uh, in seeing you do that. All right, we're going to go ahead and surrender and Astarion's going to jail. And we're going to push on in Baldur's Mouth without him. Because I don't have time to escape from prison right now. I'm getting a little... Uh, I feel like I want to eat food and move around right now. 
I don't think I can actually use the elevator. Maybe if I'm in stealth, I can click the lever. There we go. Maybe. Perfectly hidden. Cool. My first time being in the Baldur's Mouth basement. Oh, there's a steel watcher down here too? Well, that complicates things. Didn't expect that. News hawker fl- uh oh. Hear that guy getting closer. Use this to collect the news hawker sails at the end of the day and to give them change for tomorrow. Do not give Luan. Another float. If he keeps misplacing it, he'll have to go change out of his own pocket. Edvard Needle, Editor-in-Chief, Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Alright, guys. Well, honestly, I mean, I could just... I don't really feel like fighting two steel watch. I could stealth through this. But all I can think about... Ever since I met that NPC named Zeta, all I can think about is eating pasta right now. So I'm going to do a save point. Alright. We're going to come over to the just chatting screen. And I think I'm going to call it a night. Appreciate you guys on Twitch once again. Um, let's take a look at the stats. Alright. Thank you all. I appreciate all of you guys that have been hanging out on Twitch. We're doing pretty good. Now I gotta find my Twitch chat. <laughs> I don't know how to get to it. I'm such a noob. Maybe I will think about that. Yeah, you should try it. Even if you only try it a couple times. Okay, you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I appreciate you guys spending your time with me on this chilly Friday night. It's actually quite beautiful up here in New York, but it is fall time. And I probably will be live for the next couple days because I just need two more days to get affiliate. So we'll bang that out. I'll grind it out. Um, YouTube chat, peace out. If I can figure out a way to combine the chats, even though it's against Twitch's policy, I'm going to do it. It'll be easier for you guys to communicate um, with the people on Twitch. Twitch is for posers. Well, I am a poser, so I fit right in, right? Good night, Meredy. Mike, see you later. Anonymous, good to see your name. Peace out, Josh. Uh, thank you guys for the donations tonight, too. Mitch, thank you for the 10 gifted. Also, Mitch, thank you for the triple donation after I begged you for money and you gave it to me. Gamer Stuff, thanks for the 20. Always good to see your name. Katakus, thank you for the Hong Kong dollars. Brian, at the start of the stream, thank you very much. And Josh O, who is currently at the Police Academy. And of course, Boulder J and Leda. And Foxy Peach. Oh my God. Thank you guys. Goodbye. I love you all. How bad are crimes? Oh, you're playing... Oh, you're going to play Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2 take place in New York City. Crimes everywhere. Um... Good question. I wonder what, like, uh, actually, I don't want to say anything about where you live because I don't want to, I don't know if you talk about that. I think you do, don't you? Don't you talk about the city that you're in, Luality? I'm pretty sure you do because you've done meetups before.
I'm not gonna say anything because I, I don't wanna I don't wanna dox you. Brazil is IRL PvP server. It's funny, but it's not funny too. <laughs> well, the city that you're in right now, it says it's comparable to modern day New York City. So there you go. Okay, I'll catch you all on the next one. Goodbye. You know, it's funny, in my game right now, Astarion is fighting the Steel Watch. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to reload on that one. Oops. Oopsie daisy. See you, Luality. Thanks for stopping in. It's cool to be on your platform, even though I know nothing of Twitch or Twitch culture. I actually did stream on Twitch, but it was like four years ago. I streamed on Twitch for like, actually like five years ago for, for like six months. Then everybody said I wasn't that cool, so then I left and went to YouTube. Zoomers don't like me. Danton sucks. Oh, DM Wyvern Raid? Who's still here? Is anybody still here? I'll send you guys over to Wyvern stream. He's probably playing Starfield. Azaifiel is also on Lords of the Fallen, but since you guys said DM Wyvern Raid, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you guys a link to DM Ru... Why do I keep... I can't hear my own self talk, damn it. I'm gonna send you guys the link. The DM Wyvern's stream, okay? A strong supporter of the Wolfheart FPS channel. Currently playing Starfield. If you guys want to go over there and hang out, there you go. And that is on YouTube, not Twitch. I don't know how to do Twitch raids. There you go. I shared the link in the chat. What I don't like about Twitch, the commercials. Yeah, the ads are really long over there. I think the ad blockers still work on Twitch, though. They're not working as well on YouTube these days. But yeah, it is kind of frustrating. It's frustrating as a viewer when you want to browse different streamers and you click on one. And then, like, you go to another one and then you get another ad. And then you just get frustrated and exit out of the app. I feel you on that. I was watching, and also sometimes ads come in at weird times. I was watching, uh, he's probably not here anymore, but Luality on Twitch recently. And an ad came in like at a moment that I was like kind of excited to see her reaction for. I was like, well, what the hell? <laughs> I was hanging out for like five minutes to see the reaction and then the ad came in. And I was like, well, that sucks. Okay. I guess I'll just go fuck myself, you know? And then I closed the app and didn't come back on. YouTube premium, no ads. Nice. YouTube premium is cool because you also support YouTubers when you do that. I don't care if people run ad blockers, but when it comes down to it, if everybody ran ad blockers, I wouldn't have a job and YouTube wouldn't be a platform because that's how YouTube makes, uh, that's how YouTube's business is run through ads. And then that's how I also make money. Um, not much on streams, but on videos, that's really my primary source of revenue. And I like it because it's a way for me to make a living without having to ask for gifted membership or without having to ask for memberships or donations. Not that I would ever ask for that thing. Not, not that I would ever ask for those things. But I like being able to just put out content and then have Google pay me without really, you know, having to ask money from my community directly. 
Although there's something nice about being supported by a community. Um, there's benefits to both sides. Just personally, I'm not a good salesman, and I don't feel comfortable taking money from people unless they voluntarily give it without me asking. Then I feel okay sometimes. <laughs> Well, Meredy, if you do that, uh, people get paid more, so thank you for doing that. Don't have to pimp yourself on your OnlyFans. Well, I do that regardless. 